Good evening, one and all, and welcome to the inaugural Connacht Athletics Awards 2021. Delighted to have you here tonight. The rain is pelting down in uh, in Shum, and I hope it's nice and warm and cosy for everywhere. We've got a packed night of agenda, so we're going to kick off sharp at eight o'clock. And just to give you the rundown of what we're planning on doing this evening, I uh, want to say a big thank you to a number of people who made uh, this week this tonight a success. Uh, wish everybody a very warm welcome. We have people on the call from USA, from Arkansas, from Perth in Australia, and from Kenya, and from uh, different parts of Europe as well. So very, very happy to have you all on the call. Um, it's a very important night for Connacht Athletics. We've just celebrated a, a very successful year for the sport uh, in a number of levels. So um, it's really important that we recognise both athletes and officials who, may, who made it happen. Um, in terms of housekeeping, we will have big numbers on the call and people coming and going. So what we'd ask you to do is to stay on mute unless uh, you're invited to speak. Uh, but by all means, feel free to uh, put your comments into the chat box if you want to show your support for any of the athletes or any of the award winners tonight. Or even if you want to just say where you're, where you're dining in from on the call tonight, whether you're on a, a phone or an iPad or a computer. So without further ado, first uh, port of call, I'd like to hand the floor to Brian Bruton, who's the chairperson of the Connor Council. Uh, he wants to say a few words. Um, and so Brian, if you're on the call, uh, the floor is yours. I'm guessing he's not on the call yet. I'm not sure he understood when we said we were starting off on, 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 on um, exactly on eight o'clock. But well, we'll bring Brian in later on, and I'm sure we'll have a few technical hitches tonight, and we can just laugh it off because at the end of the day, it's all a bit of fun, and that's what we're hoping it will be. So first award tonight is for um, the Connacht Athletics Photo of the Year. So for, we're clearly, we're all very, very interested in um, having the media photograph our sport, and a number of clubs made nominations for Photograph of the Year. So the first photograph, as you can see, is the Irish um, Mixed Relay Team. Um, who made the final in Tokyo. They probably weren't expected to make the final in Tokyo. They were leaving the mix zone. And it's probably at that moment in time that, that, uh, that Chris and Killian uh, and Sophie and uh, Phil Healy realised that they made the Olympic final. And that was one of the nominations of this year's uh, photograph of the year. Um, we had a really good photograph there of uh, Westport actually Pori Corduff winning the national championships. That was a nomination for Westport. You can see the emotion of what it means to him. Actually, he was third place in the national championships, not winning it. Uh, but you can see clearly the emotion it meant, and that was a really good photograph as well. Uh, a lovely photograph of Laura coming in from Galway in the long jump. Uh, really good to see the, uh, the hair uh, covering the face and, and, and trying to guess who it is, but uh, another photograph that was nominated by Galway City Harriers. Uh, one of the best photographs of the year was actually the 800 metres in the, um, the uh, indoor meeting in February this year. Uh, Keen, uh, Keen McPhillips and Mark English really battling it down, both around 146, and in fact, Keen's time was the fastest time ever run by a European in under 20 and 800 metres. So again, a really good photograph and nothing to separate them in the end. We had these two photographs nominated from Tume. Uh, John O'Connor from, from Quahuel has taken some great photographs if you're ever on his Flickr account. Uh, and they were actually Tume rivals running against each other neck and neck. And it was just, again, another good photograph of, of cross-country and athletics at its most pure uh, this photograph was nominated by Loch Lurgan. Um, it showed all their kids. Loch Lurgan's a new club and it showed all their kids trying to get a group photograph um, at the Galway County Championship this year, which was their first competition ever. So it was the first time most of these kids had ever had a vest uh, or a number pinned onto them. And you can see the joy and the fun and excitement. And, and isn't that what the sport's all about at the end of the day? We had um, a photograph now from, from Castle Gar of a long jumper showing two young lads how to long jump. And the two young guys, um, first time they'd ever long jump was that evening and they'd often got an Ireland team medal uh, over the summer. So it just shows you the, the basis of the sport. Uh, with these photo nominations from, from um, Tom Hunt and Mayo, you can see the cross country, uh, clearly the reflection in the water and the barefooted runner running up the hill, uh, showing the essence of our sport. Uh, with these two runners was a photo finish in the Connacht Under 10 Championships uh, earlier on this summer, uh, GCH and, and Crowell going neck and neck. Uh, and I think in the end, the officials didn't separate them. They gave a joint first, which is a very rare thing uh, in, in, in cross country. And that photograph was taken by Ian Shaw's uh, photo finish machine. The Lake District nominated this photograph. They had a clean sweep uh, in the under-20 national championship in the Javelin, which is a very rare thing for any club. Uh, and it was great to see uh, the Lake District and, and the Connacht Club um, given all three medals in, in a national Javelin competition. 
And then one day we stumbled across um, a photo shoot for the front page of the Farmer's Journal. Um, Stephen Castley turned up at a cross-country event in a pair of wellies and shorts and a big coat on him and the sun was shining. So uh, we managed to steal that photograph and Castle Gar um, put it forward as a proposal. And then finally, we had the winner of the competition and it probably summed up everything uh, about the year that we've had in 2021. Uh, these two uh, GCH athletes uh, were getting changed in Tullamore in the back of a car. Um, and no problem to them at all, uh, putting on their spikes and getting in ready to run their first All-Ireland Championship. So uh, it was a really well, well done photograph. We had a competition on Facebook and Marcella O'Brien of Galway City Harriers uh, took that photograph and that was the winning competition. So just to say to everybody, keep taking photographs, keep promoting the sport of athletics. Uh, and you never know, next year you, you could be the winner of the Connacht Athletics Photo of the Year. I understand Brian Bruton's on the call. So, Brian, if you're on the call, um, we'll go back and let you give the welcome and then we'll move on straight afterwards. So, Brian, the floor is yours. Yeah, thanks, Pierce. And thanks for organising such a fantastic evening of, of Athletics Awards. We have 134 participants on the call at the moment, which is amazing. And we have some famous name words. So, I think it's and the endeavours of all in athletics in, Con in, in Connacht and further afield, obviously representing Connacht, that um, so many people are on the call tonight and we can celebrate the achievements of so many people um, right the way through from athletes to officials to parents to, to coaches and those who've helped serve the, the province and the branch over the last 50 plus years as well. We've, we're, we're particularly, I'd like to mention Michael O'Brien and Dermot McNamara, who's going to be receiving awards this evening as well. And this award ceremony is testament to Pierce and to all the Connacht Athletics heroes from the various clubs. And I suppose the last year or two have been difficult, but we've managed to keep the sport going and we've managed to, to create some fantastic memories and some great achievements over the last two years, despite the pandemic. And I think it's a, it's a great evening of awards ahead. So congratulations to Pierce and hope everybody enjoys the ceremony this evening. And we'll see you all at the... Thank you, Brian. And uh, hopefully, and further on throughout the year. Brian, thank you. I think your uh, your your Wi-Fi has gone a bit, so we will move swiftly on. And I want to obviously give a big thanks to Brian Bruton the Connacht Council, and indeed all the Connacht clubs who, who have made the sport uh, what it is and what a year to celebrate for Connacht Athletics this year. So after our first award winner with the, with the photograph of the year, we're going to move um, swiftly on to the Connacht Athletics Journalist of the Year. Um, all the clubs in Connacht um, nominated certain um, journalists who, who've been good to the sport. And I want to mention particularly uh, Anthony Hennigan and the Western People. Uh, the Tume Herald has been very, very good and indeed Midwest Radio. But the winner... The inaugural winner of the Connacht Athletics Journalist of the Year uh, was the, un the irrefutable John Mulligan from Galway Bay FM. And John has always given great coverage to the sport and he's a very, very worthy winner um, of the inaugural Journalist of the Year. And I hoping John is on the call. John, do you want to say a few words? John, you're never short of a word. If you're not on the call, we'll move on. But um, if you're on, you're welcome to unmute yourself and take the floor. All right, we'll, we'll move swiftly on. Just want to say thank you very much to John for all his continued uh, promotion of, of athletics on, on Galway Bay FM. So the next award is for the unsung heroes of our sport, um, the officials. And we clearly, we couldn't have a competition, any competition without the officials. Um, and in many sports, and particularly in athletics in Ireland, we're very slow to actually recognise and award officials while they're alive. So the Connacht Council this year took a decision uh, to name award an award after Father Kevin Ryle, um, and to name the award the Connacht Official of the Year. So Kevin Ryle uh, is one of the kingpins in, in, in Connacht Athletics. And I'll just give a short introduction before I pass the floor to the President of Athletics Ireland who present this award. But uh, Father Kevin Ryle won the All-Ireland Schools 880 yards in 1940 uh, in a time of 210 for Garvey College, uh, who were probably the top Connacht Athletics School for, for many, many years due to Father Kevin Ryle. He was a former chairman and a former secretary of the Connacht Athletics Council. Um, he founded the Ballinasloe Relays in 1954. And for those of you uh, of a vintage who don't remember, the Ballinasloe Relays were the, were the pain relays of their time in Ireland. Huge crowds, loads of relays, and, and, and uh, in, in the middle of one of the GA pitches over in Ballinasloe. 
Um, his college, Garbally College, was the first school for Connacht to lift the Royal College of Surgeons Cup at the All-Ireland Schools in 1954. And again, all of that was down to Kevin Royal um, and all the work he did. He was the president of BLE from 1972 to 1975, and he was also the president of the Irish Schools from 71 to 76. So clearly a major contributor to the sport in Ireland, and we're delighted that we're able to, to, uh, to name uh, an award in his honour. So uh, he died in 2005, but clearly his legacy lives uh, long today. So I'm going to hand the floor now uh, to the president of Athletics Ireland. We're delighted to have him on the line. So John Cronin, John, do you want to say a few words uh, about the, the work officials have done, particularly after the great success of the European Cross Country this year? Uh, and John was actually on the jury of appeal at the Tokyo 2020 Olympics last year, so clearly knows a lot about officials. So, so John, the floor is yours uh, to, to, to congratulate our two winners and say a few words about officials. Thank you, Pierce, and just a big thank you to Connacht Athletics for the invite and congratulations to yourself and your team for putting this together. Uh, I'm delighted to attend tonight. I have a connection with Connacht, a uh, former competitor uh, in Connacht Championships back in the day with UCG. So um, Connacht has been, been in my realm dur during my career. Um, like I said, it, it's very important and congratulations again to Connacht for having an officials award to recognize the work of officials and volunteers. An iceberg comes to mind uh, because what people generally see on the day um, is only the tip of the iceberg. There's so much effort and preparation has gone uh, in, into, uh, in, into putting competitions together and it's very appropriate that we do always recognize the work of our officials, volunteers, and Iceberg is also uh, what we see with our athletes and coaches as well. So the, the performance of the day um, is, is only, uh, only a small bit of the huge work done. It's very appropriate that the award is named after Father Kevin Ryle, who, who you outlined, our, our past, past president, and I'm del delighted to follow him in, in, into the office. Um, for this award, the judges couldn't separate the two outstanding candidates, uh, Amanda there and Ian. So um, both, both of them uh, do massive work, not only at regional level, but at club, county and national level. And they're, they're two, two outstanding um, award winners and they, they have the temperament and very approachable people uh, on the day of competition. So uh, huge congratulations to both of them. And it's a privilege to present this award to them. So well done, Amanda. Well done, Ian. And best wishes to all the award winners uh, tonight. Thank you, Pierce. Thank you very much, John. And Amanda and Ian have received their awards um, over in the last 24 hours. But Amanda and Ian, we'd love you both just to say a few words, because um, as, as we said, you're always first there for every competition in the morning your last to leave at night. You were both nominated by numerous clubs uh, from around the province. So there's clearly, you're both held in very, very high regard. And it's great to be able to recognize you in, in a public forum. So Amanda, do you want to say a few words? You're, it's your time to have your Oscar speech, the one you've always dreamt about. And then we'll, we'll hand the floor to Ian. So Amanda, the floor is yours. Well, thank you very much, Pierce. And thank you everybody else in Connaught. And I don't have an Oscar speech, but I'm, I'm honored to share this award with Ian. And um, we've worked together for quite a few years now. so. We either understand or hate each other, it's one or the other. But as, as John was saying there, it's never one person's job, it's a whole team. And without everybody else in Connaught, we wouldn't get what we get, we wouldn't have the competitions. So really, this is just, I'll put the final little touches onto it, but it's everybody else's work really that is acknowledged in this. So thank you very much. Take your, take your moment in the sun, Amanda. You, you've been secretary of Connaught for about 11 years. You're, uh, you're, you're on the juvenile committee, you're the Connaught representative. The minutes of the meetings always get sent out the next morning, which is brilliant. Um, and then obviously you're, you're there first thing in the morning and last thing at night. We really appreciate your work and on behalf of the athletes, on behalf of the clubs in Connacht, uh, a big thank you to you, Amanda. And now to your, to your co-winner, Ian Shaw, who's always short of word. Ian, um, there's not much we can say about you. Um, you clearly, uh, when Ian is not available, competitions don't tend to happen. Um, we're told that, that if Ian Shaw is not available, therefore the event can't take place, which probably shows you the regard and the dependency we have on Ian Shaw both in Galway, Connacht, and now indeed at national level. Ian, huge thank you from all the clubs, and, and, and the floor is yours to say a few words. Uh, officiating and results uh, is not all you do. You're also a very good coach, but you're recognised tonight as, as an official, and congratulations to you, and we'd love to hear a few words from you. Thank you, Pierce, and uh, thank you, John, as well, for presenting the awards. And uh, 
<clears throat> Thanks, Amanda, for saying pretty much what I was going to say. I, I've got a few people to thank. You know, I, I, I've just listed a few people here, right down, down here. No, no, I think it would be unfair to, to pick out individual people. Um, I think Amanda said, you know, officiating really, really is a much a, a team event. Um, and, you know, we couldn't do it without the people. I mean, I, what Piers just said there about, um, just, just the one thing I would say about officiating is you know, what Piers said there about, you know, if certain people aren't available, um, you know, competition does tend to take a rocky road. I wish that wasn't the case. I wish, you know, we had a much greater pool of officials within within Connacht. You know, there's, there's nothing to stop people, you know, coming forward. And, you know, we're always, help, you know, happy to have, you know, a, a good team of officials. Um, so really, to be honest, I, I'm going to accept this award, not not just for, for myself, really, but for the, the team of people that work with both myself and Amanda, you know, year in, year out, um, to be honest, um, you know, I'm just proud to have the award. Thank you very much for, for considering me and, and, and Amanda. Um, but yeah, that's really all I have to say. Thanks, Ian. And, and I think both of you need to thank your families as well, because I think when you're recognised like this, it does tend to, to let your families know how, how, how appreciated you are and how beneficial you are to the sport. So, so thank you both very, very much. So moving on to our next award, and it's again, it's a very, very important award um, for it's the Connacht Athletics Hall of Fame. Um, and this year has been awarded for Distinguished uh, Services to Connacht Athletics. And to present this award and say a few words, I'm going to hand the floor to John Connolly, who is the chair of Carrick and Shannon Athletic Club. So, so John, the floor is yours. Thanks, Piers. And uh, I just want to say uh, well done on organising these awards. And, and it's a great idea and long overdue. The late Michael O'Brien, who passed away in April 2021, was a hugely influential figure in Carrick and Shannon, AC, Leitrim, Connacht and National Athletics. He's one of the founders of our club way back in 1973, and he must have filled every role there was to fill in the club. He was club secretary for 25 years, club chairman, church gate collector, Connacht official, starter at Leitrim, Connacht and National Events, chief organiser and track marker of the fondly remembered Carrick AC Sports. If there was a job to be done for the club, Michael did it and did it to perfection. Because for Michael, if a job was worth doing, it was worth doing right. But as a coach, the generations of Carrick people will remember Michael and it was his greatest love. We can talk all about our All-Ireland medalists and internationals he coached and all the successes he brought to our club, but it wouldn't do him justice. For he was just as proud of the efforts of the youngest child trained our best in the event and he had as much time for the greenest novice as he did for the season star. Michael literally gave a lifetime of service to Carrick and Shannon AC, to Leitrim and Connacht Athletics. And while he's no longer with us, we in Carrick and Shannon Athletic Club are so proud and so thrilled that Michael is the first recipient of this award. Uh, I know he served with an awful lot of the officials that are on this call tonight, uh, all the athletes from a, a, a gone by generations will remember him and we are so so thrilled that he's been recognised thank you very much thank you very much John and, and I think you've said the words and I'm sure there's many athletes and even former athletes who will remember Michael with a gentle word calling it to the start line as your, as your heart is beating um, I understand Michael's daughter might be on the call um, she was presented with his award today and if she is um, she's very welcome to come and say a few words on, on behalf of her dad so, Mary, if you're on the call, um, we'd love to hear from you. Hi, Piers. Thank you very much. Um, on behalf of Ma'am and the O'Brien family, I'd like to thank Connacht Athletics, John Connolly for his kind words, and Carrie Casey. I was honoured to accept this Hall of Fame for my dad, Michael O'Brien, who died in April of last year. Being involved in athletics was what dad loved best. Ma'am and the family knew where we came in the pecking order. Dad never shied away from work. He believed if there was a job to be done, it had to be done well. He was a great man to get people involved in the club activities. And I think Mary O'Donnell and the late Mary Moston would vouch for that. One of Dad's values was respect. He respected and encouraged every athlete that competed and finished the race as he did for the athletes that were medal winners. I want to mention Dad's loyal and great friend, Michael O'Hart. Any of you that would have stood on the start line with the two Michaels will have known that the rules are there and they had to be strictly adhered to, but always ensuring fair play to every athlete. Thank you, Michael, for your friendship. The first meeting of Carrick AC was held in the Presentation Brothers College in Carrick. Brother Andrew Hickey was present at this meeting in 1973 and was on the first committee with Dad. 
Even though Brother Andrew has left Carrick many years ago, he still follows Carrick AC and remains a great family friend. To Dad's beloved Carrick Athletic Club family, thank you so much for the years of enjoyment Dad got from athletics and all the athletes. There's one athlete that was a member from the beginning and is still wearing the Carrick AC vest today. That is Mickey Degnan. He's always attributed his love and dedication of running to my dad. These memories have given us great comfort. I know that dad was so happy to hand over the reins to Mary O'Donnell, John Connolly and the team of coaches, knowing that the club is in good hands and that you're carrying on what he started. He was so proud of you all. The Carrick AC Heavenly Committee are now reunited. Dad, Brother Terence, Tommy Smith, Mary McGuinness, Mick Gately, Sean Byrne, Peter O'Donnell, Mary Maston, Moyne Harney, and Billy Gilligan and more. I'm sure they're looking down on us and guiding us. I can't let this night pass without mentioning my Mam Rose. Mam was always by Dad's side, together for 62 years. Mam supported Dad and was always ready to help out in the early days of the club. She's an amazing lady who always seemed to have endless supply of sandwiches, tea, homemade lemonade and home baking in the boot of the car for anyone that felt like a copper. She, along with Brother Andrew, stitched a cover to hold the pieces of foam together to make the first tied up landing area for Carrie KC. From helping out at training sessions and at events, she ultimately facilitated Dad to attend meetings, events, training sessions and to be in a position to give his time freely to young athletes. Thank you, ma'am. We as a family would like to congratulate all the award recipients tonight. A huge thank you again to you, Pierce and Connacht Athletics for honouring Dad, uh, to John for making the presentation earlier and to Dad's Carrie KC family. Thank you all so much. Mary, thank you very much. That was lovely. And if we were in a room and we weren't um, in our own sitting room tonight, I think you'd get a, a standing ovation for how you delivered that. And I'm sure your dad is very, very proud of your words there as well. So. So well done, Mary. We're delighted to be able to honour them. And, and, you know, to be fair, these awards were set up exactly as just what you've just done to honour people. And we want to honour as many people as we can while they're alive. But it's, it's nice to honour people when they've just passed as well. So, so thank you very much. And, and well done to Michael O'Brien. And his legacy certainly lives on in, in, in Carrick and Shannon. Thank you. So moving on to our next award winner. Um, and we're delighted to have the Connacht uh, Cross Country Runner of the Year presented by five-time world cross country medalist, and indeed, 1994 European cross country champion Katrina McKiernan. Katrina used to be very quiet in her competing days, but she's uh, she's far chattier now. And I'm delighted to, uh, I'm looking forward to hearing her tonight. She's been practicing her lines all day. So, Katrina, if you're there, the floor is yours, and we'd love you to, to present this award. Thanks very, thanks very much, Pierce. Uh, I don't agree with, with everything you said there. I'm, I'm still a, a woman of a few words, but uh, I just want to congratulate everybody on their awards tonight and, you know, the present day athletes to wish them all the best in their careers ahead. And um, I suppose just from my own experience, not to take it too serious, uh, the most important thing is to enjoy it. And um, you know, you're not going to perform well all the time. And definitely every time an athlete goes to the start line, their main ambition is to do the best that they possibly can. And that was my idea, like on any given day, to run as fast as I possibly could. And in saying that as well, to prepare for races in the best possible way that I, that I could. And uh, then just say a few prayers and hope for the best on the day. But um as I said, it's not always going to work out the way you want it to, but, um, you know, even for myself, you know, I, I was successful, but there were some days that, uh, that I didn't um, get on the podium. And obviously there was a little bit disappoint, a little bit of disappointment, but, you know, I knew I'd get up the next morning and um, get out running again and forget about the disappointment very quickly. And just, you know, as I said, just to enjoy it, don't let people put pressure on you. Um, uh, I think if you enjoy it, you're going to have a long and, and successful career. And just, I suppose, <laughs> being a cabin person as well, keep your cards close to your chest. I think it's very, very difficult now with social media. I certainly wouldn't like to be an athlete in this day and age. And uh, there's too much pressure on the athletes. And, you know, I always let my legs do the talking. I remember before I went over to the London Marathon, I uh, the press conference was on and... Uh, you know, they kept asking me questions and they wanted to know, you know, they wanted me to quote and say things, but I said very little. I just kept repeating. I had 
a couple of one-liners and I just kept saying, I've prepared the best as I possibly could. Uh, I'm going to run as best as I can and we'll see what happens on the day. And I remember they were just, uh, you know, they had nothing to write after the press conference, but, you know, I wasn't putting pressure on myself by saying, oh, I'm in the best form of my life and I'm going to win this race and all that sort of thing. But that would be a little bit of advice that I would give the, the athletes of today to, you know, just keep their cards close to their chest and let their legs do the talking and just to enjoy it. Where are you going, Katrina? Are you going to read out the nominations to what we're paying you for tonight? <laughs> for the cut of cross so, under the air, the females. Thanks, Katrina. So, Pierce, I, I don't mean to put you on the spot, but... Uh, <laughs> is that meant to come up on the screen in front of me? Or not? I, I hope it's in front of everybody's screen. Uh, you, you don't have it in your phone, Katrina, no? Sorry, Pierce, just one second. <laughs> you no better problem. sing a song there or something when I... When I, when I uh... Well, Katrina, they're very good words. I'm smiling because Tom O'Reardon used to always say he used to ring your house in cabin looking for quotes and you would not answer phone and, tell, and your mother would say, tell, tell, me, tell him you're not here. And your mother would say, yes, Tom, Katrina's here. And you, you used to clam up and not tell him anything. So you've just backed it up. Yeah. Katrina, if you can't read the names, I'll read them out for you. And then you've no, got no, a word sorry, with our winner. Just, just one second. Now, just bear with me. And... Um... Oh, I know who the girls are, all right, and uh, I've seen some great photos of them, and uh, it's quite an amazing, uh, quite an amazing story. Uh, let me see. Now. Sorry about this. <laughs> Katrina, will I read them out, and then you announce the winner? Is that the best way of doing it? Yeah. Okay. Pierce. Lovely, yeah, yeah. I'm just, I'm just constantly about thirty words. So, so the nominations yeah. for the Connacht Cross Country Runner of the Year for the female are. Claude Gill from Oi Valley, who had an outstanding season all year long. Uh, young Freya Renton from Westport. Uh, Aoife Kilgallen from Sligo won the National Novice. Molly Smith from the newest yeah. club, Loch Lurgan. And Evie and McLaughlin, McLaughlin from Sligo. So do you want to announce the winner, Katrina? So, so the winner is Frida Renton from Westport. The kind of Freya cross Renton from, from Westport, yes, yes. yes. Yeah. Katrina, yeah. thank you very, very much. Fre young Freya Renton, who, who's only under 12 from Westport, uh, and we felt it was appropriate to put the, the photograph for twin sister Holly as well, because yes, as you'll see from the seven. photograph, <laughs> as you see from and, the and I often doing... wonder, I often wonder, you know, before races or after after the race, do, do they congratulate each other or what do they talk about on the way home in the car? Or maybe maybe they should, should try to psych each other out and say, I'm going to win today. So have a little bit of fun with it and well done, girls. Thanks, Katrina. Well, actually, it's a great question. I think we have Freya on the on the line because I was told by her mother to make sure her awards are presented early so she could get to bed. Um, everybody would look at this photograph and see two gold medals around each of their necks. Uh, Frey and, and uh, Holly Renton are a ple pleasure to behold. Um, when I video races for the Connacht Athletics Facebook, they, they ruin my videos because I video the two girls and there's so much dead space before the next girl. So they really are a class apart. But I think Katrina's words are very wise not to put any pressure on them. Uh, and we didn't want to put pressure on young athletes tonight, because, but there's no way that Freya Renton could be ignored as being the inaugural cross country runner of the year. So, so Freya, um, do you want if you can come on the line if your mother's there with you as well, just to say first of all congratulations on such an outstanding year. You have never been beaten in a cross country race um, at county, region, or national level. Um, and as 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 Katrina just asked there, what's it like running against your twin sister? Well, <laughs> it's. Well, I've trained with her, so I sort of know what what she's going to be like. So then I just have to put in a sprint at the end to beat her. And what's it like the night before a race, or even as, as Katrina said, going in the car to the race? Do you play games, cycling each other out? Or, or what's it like for the two of you? Well, we kind of sit like away from each other, thinking about the race. So it's, a, so it's very much an individual sport for you two, is it? Well, at the end, we can, we can congratulate each other. Good. Well, Freya, you are the winner, but I have to say to Holly, if she's on the call as well, the judges wanted to split this award between the two of you, but we put a bit of pressure on because we, we didn't want to split too many awards. So, Freya, if you can share that award with Holly and maybe share it in each other's bedroom or whatever, it'd be great because Holly is just as deserving. But remember some of the words that Katrina McKiernan, who's a world champion medalist four, four times and five, including the team, Remember the words, keep it fun and, and keep the pressure off yourself and just enjoy it. And don't mind us oldies getting excited seeing you racing because uh, you're, you're really, really, we all want to watch when, when the renting girls are racing. So well done. And you've now had your first Zoom call and I interviewed you after you won the Connacht Under 12s, the 2E, along with the Longford girl. And you were great on the interview and I got a load of hits on, 
on the social media. So well done, Freya, and the best of luck now for the season ahead. And thanks for Thank staying up so late. Thanks so much. Thank you for the award. You're very welcome. I said moving swiftly on, and Katrina, if you can stay on the line because we've, we're, we're, we're going to get our use out of you tonight when, we have, when I have you on. Um, the Cross Country Male Athlete of the Year. Katrina, can you read them out or would you like me to do it? Uh, master Athlete of the Year. No, uh, <laughs> the Male Cross Country Runner of the Year. I'll read them out, will I? Is that maybe the best way of doing it? Yeah, sorry, sorry. Um, no problem, no sorry, problem, yeah. Katrina. Work, work away, appears. yeah, yeah. Th thanks, Evadon. So the, we had an outstanding year for Connor Cross Country this year and you could have picked any one of five or six athletes to be the Cross Country Runner of the Year. The nominations are Dara Mulrooney from Moy Valley, Thomas McStay, Galway City Harriers, was selected for the European Cross Country this year. Eamon Murphy, North Sligo. Keelan Kilrehill from Moy Valley, who actually won a gold medal in the European Cross Country and finished sixth in, in the under-23 race. Uh, Shane Bracken of Swinford, who has been running uh, so well all over the United States and finished in the top 15 in the NCAA's Division II, I understand. And then finally, Declan O'Connell from Crockwell, who won the All-Ireland Under-14 title. And not alone did he win the individual, he led his team to win the, the club title from Crockwell. And Galway won the, the county title as well. So it was a really fantastic day. Connacht, I think, was second province home. So when all yeah, is so said and the, done... Sorry, the male athlete then, yeah. So the male athlete then is Keelan Kilrehill. So congratulations, Keelan. Thank you very much, uh, Katrina. So just, just while I'm doing this, um, I'm going to stop sharing the screen. Keelan is in Kenya at the moment uh, at an altitude training camp. And he sent a little video message. So I'm going to pull up the video message here and I hope everybody can hear it. Uh, for a minute or two. So, so this is Keelan overnight um, in Kenya at high altitude. Hello, everyone. How are you? Um, I suppose I'll uh, start by apologising uh, that I can't attend tonight. I'm currently in uh, Kenya on a training camp for four weeks. So, a few of us over here, and uh, we're obviously in a different time zone as well. So, uh, can't attend. But uh, yeah, uh, honoured to be the first uh, recipient of the award. Um, yeah, grateful to. Anyone at Connacht Lies who's uh, voted and uh, picked me for the award, so thanks for that. And uh, yeah, I suppose I have to thank uh, everyone who's helped me as well, like uh, my two coaches, uh, Philip Finnerty and Emma Levy. They're obviously a big factor in it all. And uh, yeah, I suppose we really kind of pushed on the last year to under them as well, so that's really good. Um, yeah, and uh, it's good to see uh, the club uh, getting a award as well, my valley, so it's nice to see that the kind of progress they've made, like even since I started a few years ago, it's really kind of the numbers and everything is pushed on and everyone in the club that's kind of helping out, it's really it's making a difference, so it's good to see that as well, and uh, obviously Philip getting picked with the Coach of the Year award as well was really good, so yes, yeah, nice to see that, and uh, yeah, thanks to everyone at DCU as well, even like Paul Byrne and people like that, they're, all the support is really appreciated and uh, it was all kind of <laughs> Capped off nicely in Abbottstown. It was, yeah, I suppose I had a good year. And, uh, yeah, that was a big one. And, like, uh, everyone supported that. is really appreciated as well. So, uh, thanks for that. And, uh, yeah, I hope you have a, hope you have a good night. And, uh, yeah, thanks for, thanks again. I hope everyone was able to hear that. Um, that was Keelan Kilrehill um, dialing in from Altitude Training Camp in Kenya. And it's important, I suppose, to, to for everyone to realise that, you know, one thing is seeing the success the athletes achieve. The other thing is, is obviously how hard they train. And you can see the fact that, you know, he's in his bed. It's a few hours ahead in Nairobi time. He'd love to have joined, but he's got a training session very early in the morning. But a super year from, from Keenan Gilrehill. And it was great to hear him thank his coaches as well, um, but both, you know, Philip and, and Emmett Dunleavy. So, so thank you, Katrina. Uh, and stay with us because we're going to get a bit more work out of you yet. The next award, um, if you just look back and you think of where we were a year ago, um, we were in, obviously, lockdown. We were trying to get as much athletics as we could. Um, in social media for the first five months of the year we couldn't uh, we weren't able to do anything at all so we decided to set up a Connacht Athletics um, so social media award and with a number of clubs uh, nominated for this including Galway City Harriers, Cropwell, Tume, Moy Valley, Castlegar, Caltra and Corrafin but the judges decided this year to give the, the prize to North Sligo and like, for a very simple reason that they fundraise a load of money uh, for, for, for Chris O'Donnell um, and for Mona McSharry both members of North Sligo Athletic Club and they used social media to, to, to raise money for the going to the Olympics and they got a sizable amount of money. And the, the judges felt this year that it was probably the best way to show 
other clubs how you can use social media to to to, to earn revenue. So so well done to North Sligo on, on that one. So now we're moving into a very important uh, presentation. It's the Connacht Clubs of the Year. Uh, delighted to have a Connacht man, Liam Morgan from Tume, uh, who's a multiple Connacht schools champion, a record holder, and indeed a lot more than that, a coaching legend. So uh, Liam, the floor is yours. Uh, we'd love you to present the Connacht Club of the Year. They're very, very important to the sport. Uh, I hope you're on the call and I'm happy to hand the floor to you. Thank you very much, Pierce, and thank you for organising this and thank you to all the people that have, have backed it up. Uh, I'm quite emotional, to be honest. Um, I have no doubt at all in saying that I am shaped very much by the people and the clubs of Connacht Athletics. Um, people, they say, make a difference, but it's the clubs that provide the structure and the system for people to flourish. An athletics club do it very well by having support for athletes, for coaches, for administrators. Uh, I am from Chewham. I remember that the saw doctors sang about the twisting, turning, winding roads from the square to the town of the tribes. Well, the twisting, turning, winding roads of Connacht have been connected for many, many years by great people in the clubs in Connacht. And I'm delighted that they're being recognized as they are today. I went on to make my career in coach education and there were a lot of people in Connacht who set up that united province of clubs, if you like, Paul Griffin and more times come to mind. They were the first ones that I saw that. So the clubs of Connacht are deeply, deeply important. The nominations, and there are eight nominations in all, they're Longford Athletic Club, Galway City Harriers, Castlegar Athletic Club, Tume Athletic Club, Swinford Athletic Club, Caltra and District, Crockwell Athletic Club, and Moy Valley Athletic Club. Now, do you want to announce the winners, Pierce? Or do you want me to, to announce that? No, oh, it's all yours, Liam. Go for it. Okay, so the, the, there are joint winners this year, and the joint winners are Moy Valley Athletic Club and Crockwell Athletic Club. And I congratulate both very, very sincerely. Thank you very much, Liam. That was great. And, and don't go away because we've won one more award for you to, to present. But um, just to, to, to put, put their, their names on the big screen, Moy Valley um, really had a phenomenal uh, winter season, and especially with, with, with the uh, cross-country season. But also, they, they do so much more than just, just coach athletes. They host events. They, they built a great facility in Ballina, and they produce numerous Olympians down the year. And obviously, Deirdre Gallagher is on the call, and her, and her brother's the, the chairman of the club, and they really are a special club. So I don't know who's on the call for my valley, but if somebody would like to say a few words, you're more than welcome. If it's Sean Gallagher or Marion or whoever it is, but the floor is with my valley before we go to Cropwell. Uh, Pierce, uh, I can take it here. Uh, Sean Gallagher here, the chairman of the club. And uh, I suppose a bit like Liam, I'd be emotional accepting this award as well. It's a fantastic honor for a young club. We're only five years in existence, but it's all down to a huge, huge team effort. We have a fantastic team of coaches, fantastic team of parents, guardians, uh, and supporters behind the club. Uh, and without them, that just doesn't happen. And last but not least, we have a fantastic group of athletes all the way from our juvenile um, junior athletics program right through to our successful masters athletes as well. And, every, and uh, a wide range of disciplines uh, runners, jumpers, throwers, and we have a strong team of walkers as well, as you're uh, well aware, Pierce, uh, from the great work you do on that. So just to thank everyone uh, for voting and uh, for selecting Moy Valley, and uh, also like to congratulate, um, we're delighted to be in the same company as uh, the fantastic Crockwell Athletic Club as well. So just to say well done to Crockwell and well done to everyone involved tonight. Thank you very much, Sean. And they were great words. Uh, and we'll all remember the, the kind of cross-country organised up in Ballina, which was organised with military precision. And then most of the organisers ended up running the, the, the senior race and the master's race afterwards. So there's a really great family vibe in my valley. And well done to you all and, and, and more power to you. Uh, Crockwell um, obviously have dominated uh, juvenile athletics for many, many years. And even just thinking back, um, Ireland's first ever world youth medalist was Anne McNan from Crockwell way back in 2003. 
Um, but but this year they were the top club in the National Juvenile Championships um, from Connacht in terms of medals won. But there's so much more than just medals won, and they're they're currently building a track, uh, but producing athletes in all the various disciplines. So happy to hand the floor for a very short few words from, from somebody from Crawford. Yeah, good evening, Pierce. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, sportsmen and sportswomen and former greats. Mark Gillen here, chairman of Crockwell Athletic Club. Happy New Year to you all, and may 2022 be a great and successful year for all of us. And thank you, Sean, from My Valley, for your kind words and congratulations to you and all of Ballina also. It is a great honour and indeed a privilege to accept this award on behalf of Crockwell Athletic Club. I would like especially to congratulate Shauna Broquet and Evan on their awards and indeed all tonight's winners. The winning of this award is due to the very hard work and dedication of all our volunteer coaches and committee members and indeed our wonderful athletes. I warmly congratulate you all. Best wishes to you all. Thank you, Pearson and Marion. Thank you very much, Crowell, and, and great to see that and, and more power to you and good luck at your facility. I look forward to bringing, seeing some world-class athletes coming to the opening night uh, when it's on. Liam, if you're still there, uh, we'd love you to announce the uh, Connacht Athletics Development Club of the Year uh, this year. Uh, they're a new club set up in 2018, full of enthusiasm, uh, very, very infectious enthusiasm, but I'd love you to present that award, Liam, if you can. Well, of course, Pierce, when most people in most areas were closing down there in 2018, the people around Furbo set up Lock Lurgan, Athletic Club. They now have over 150 sound. members. Huh? They're no one of them. They're the first ever winners of the club. It's mute at no sound. Club of the year. I so can't get either now because I think. Liam, thanks a million. I don't know who was coming in if you can mute yourself, but um, Loch Lurgan have been a brilliant club, as, as Liam said, two years set up and 150 members, and they're also voted the best dressed club in Connacht Athletics, which is very mm -hmm. impressive. So I'd love to have the floor open to somebody from Loch Lurgan to say a few words. Yeah. Um, so the floor is yours, Loch Lurgan. Hi, Piers. It's Alan Giblin here from uh, Loch Lurgan. I'm the chairperson of the club. I'm with Siobhan and uh, of the other uh, committee members here. Thank you very much uh, to Connacht Athletics for the nomination. We're absolutely delighted and chuffed. Uh, very proud to accept uh, this year. Couldn't do it without a lot of people, really, like all the other clubs around uh, the province, I think, at this stage. Um, coaches and helpers, first of all, we've got a big 20, 25 people helping us every session effectively at this stage. Lots of uh, good local support. Couldn't do it without them. Um, an average of, of, I think, 110 uh, kids every every session turn up with all those good supporters. Uh, the committee helping us do the background work. The local uh, cush in the park as well, giving us the facilities to train as well. Hard fought against the GAA, the soccer, hurling, fighting for space the whole time. But they have given us a nice bit of space to train uh, with the view of developing as well. So there's more to come in that space. A uh, forum Connemara as well for their assistance with uh, uh, funding to buy and purchase uh, high jump, for example, and other equipment to get us going. Um, our regional development officers as well. So starting with Paul Byrne, who's who's uh, been replaced by our good as well. And it's just to get us started, as have been the county boards. So people on here in this call, County Board, the other clubs, PCH, Castlegar, Crockwell, on and on. Everybody is like a family of support. Everybody wants to help us get going. It's tips and advice on grant applications, development and learning for the coaches. Come see what we do. It's, all, it's a great family. Couldn't do it without the people, effectively. It's all about the people. And uh, we've been uh, very supported through the last uh, two and a bit years, so we're delighted to where we've got. So thank you again, and more to come. Um, yeah. And Siobhan? Yeah, no, just to say thanks as well. We're both we're, we're all thrilled to the whole committee, and it's given everybody a great buzz to, to get the award. And thanks to yourself, Pierce, the, the PRO that doesn't sleep, <laughs> very hard working yourself. So thanks a million. We're, we'll, we'll, we're delighted. It'll do a tour of the houses now after this. So thank you. Uh, thanks, Siobhan, and thank Alan, and, and well done. And we look forward to seeing the, the continued growth of Loch Lurgan Athletic Club. So thank you all to all the clubs. And moving swiftly on, uh, we have a very important award here and a very important award presenter as well. This next award is the Pride of Connacht Athletics, and it's an inspiration award. Um, and I would like to hand the floor to the woman who actually proposed this award. Um, she's the chair of Galway County Board. Um, she's a Trojan worker. You'll see her in the van 
um, doing the results at all the Galway County Championships and Connacht Championships. Marion Machiavelli, it's a pleasure to have you on the call and love you to present this award. Thanks, Pierce. And to say I'm astounded by the amount of people on this call would be just, it's fabulous to see so many people involved. I know there are two inspiration awards and I know Mark Davis is coming behind me. Um, so I'll add a quick word at the end on that one. Um, the young lady that I nominated as county board chairperson is from a Galway club. Um, I've been involved in athletics for years and I've seen grit, I've seen determination, I've seen tears, I've seen laughter and everything else that goes with that desire to be competitive and the icing on the cake to bring home a medal. But sometimes we forget about the athletes who turn up to every training session, turn up to every event, run in their own age group and run in age groups above that. And this year, I have to say, I watched in awe at cross country and particularly in my valley, which is a place I love going to. Um, and the young ladies from a Galway club, and I have to say, her coaches should be, should be so proud of her because I tell you, if I was training her, I would be. She's absolutely unbelievable. She's a very determined young lady. And while other runners hair off in a race, she's a very steady runner, but never gives up. She's often lapped, still doesn't stop, and always holds her head up high. This year in Connacht, this young lady had a nosebleed in the middle of the race. And lots of voices on the side were shouting, come on, good girl, step off, we'll get you help, step off, we'll get you help. I was one of the other voices shouting, carry on, keep going, good girl, you're nearly there. And she did. She finished her race. She, the smile on her face before and after races is something else. And that's enough to tell me she's an inspiration. And she's somebody we should be looking forward to and looking at, because it's not always those kids that are up front that are inspirational. Um, and the young lady is Jessica Burke from Galway City Harriers. And all I need to say is, well done, Jessica. You are fabulous. Thank you very much, Marion. Great words. Jessica, um, I don't know if you're on the call, but if you are, um, you've inspired us all. And if you want to say a few words, uh, now is your, is your moment. So happy for you to, to, to take the mic and, and say a few words. Yeah, thank you to everyone who picked me for the award. And congratulations to Sean as well for sharing this award with me. And thank you to everyone who cheered me on in Balna when I got my nosebleed. Thank you very much, Jessica. I was the guy who actually told you to step in. <laughs> so good on you, Marion, for, for letting her to keep on myself and Sean Gallagher. But Jessica, yeah. listen, keep it up. You've inspired everybody. Uh, and you are actually what the sport is all about. So, so well done to you. Um, and then, as Marion said, this okay. award has been shared with another athlete. And I'm going to hand the floor to uh, Mark Davis from Caldwell AC to explain exactly why, why uh, Sean and Bouquet is so inspirational. So, Mark, the floor is yours. Sure thing, Pierce. Um, so, Marion, you met, said you wanted to mention a word about Shauna, so step in whenever. I, I'm just before you first, start, yeah. Mark, I'll just say that many years ago, and Mark Gillen will back me up on this, I was either chairperson or secretary of Crockwell, I can't remember which. Shauna was about eight, maybe nine, ten years of age, and I said she was an athlete to look out for. She was, and we are looking since she's fabulous so thanks mark yeah no it's true so anybody that's been involved in galway athletics over the last 10 years would know shauna from seeing her at road races and you might say well since she's eight years old but she's she's been inspiring people since then but i, I guess specifically this year in the last year because the 2021 award um at least in crawwell yeah and we we've been burnt out on fundraising between buying the track, uh, buying the land, developing the sprint lanes. We were kind of done with it. And it was on very much on the long finger. Um, Shauna did most of her uh, training on like roads at night, gravel, a gravel track around the school, which is now gone through construction. Um, but she came to us and basically said, what, how, when are we going to do this track and how can I help? And um, this is a kid, she's in Leaving Cert this year. Um, in, in her own sport, which is endurance athletics and parathletics, uh, she was a world junior champion and she's aspiring to go to the Paralympics. But um, so basically we took her up on the offer and she, her idea was to lead this 42 challenge 
which was that she'd do a marathon as a fundraiser. Um, and she did the marathon, but she also um, went on radio. Now, she's not somebody who looks for attention, but she went on all kinds of media, radio, and newspapers, and you know, brought in ministers, got lots of people to do challenges. I'd say it felt like hundreds. I haven't counted them up, but there were at least 50 or 60 people that did various challenges from 42 sleepless nights, Kieran Cannon, the minister, cycled 420 kilometers in a storm. Some lunatic from uh, Athenry did 4,200 pull-ups. Uh, Jane Ann arranged races. There was all sorts of events, and it actually brought a lot of kind of fun and joy into, uh, you know, for the first time in fundraising. It, it, it was it was great crack at the time. And uh, basically, the goal was to raise 42,000. She exceeded the goal. The, uh, they raised 49,000 in total. Um, and that, along with a grant, has got the track together to Tarmac Adam level. And really, we wouldn't have it without her. Last night, we had a time trial on the track, which Shauna took part on. Normally, she always trained alone. She took part on with the other kids her own age. It's great. She can train with them now. And she finished third. It was fantastic in a 439 mile, which is a pretty damn good mile. Um, so uh, we're just so proud of Shauna. Um, I suppose apart from the track, the other source of inspiration from her is she's like Marion said, a world, she's got a world class attitude to athletics and the kids can see it. She lives on that track. Anytime you go down there, you'll hear a hiya mark or hiya whoever you are and you'll see the light coming around and the kids can see, well, you know, guys, if you're going to take it seriously, that's what you have to do. Um, and so she inspires us all the time. She's a class act and I'm so proud and happy for Shauna and Jessica. That was a great story too and that was a fantastic uh, acceptance speech from yourself there uh congratulations to you too so i don't know if you're on the line shauna if you want to say anything yeah mark just to say thanks very much and again just to reinforce this is an athlete in the club who raised nearly fifty thousand for a track so you know I, they really are inspiration awards and um, we're all looking for better facilities we've all mentioned sharing with the ga and all the rest of it but God helps those who help themselves. So anyone who's looking for a facility, get out and, and start raising the money and looking for land and, and, and applying for grants as we all wait for the sports capital grants announcement this month. But Shauna, if you're on the call, on the call, um, the lovely photograph you get in your award yesterday, um, really, really good. I've heard all about you. Looking forward to meeting you at some point. But if you'd like to say a few words, um, now is your chance. So over to you, Shauna. Yeah, um, thanks, thanks, Mark, there for the lovely words. Uh, I also just want to say... Uh, Thank you to everyone who took part in the 42 Challenge last year. Um, everyone who did a challenge, everyone who donated, and everyone who got involved. Without your help, it wouldn't have been possible, so thank you. And also, congrats to Jessica for, for your award as well. Well done. Thank you very much, Shauna. Really appreciate you coming on the call, and, and, and lovely to be recognised and, and keep inspiring people. Thank you. Moving on to our next award, and this is a very poignant award, and it's a very important award for, for a number of reasons. So before um, we go to Arkansas and the United States, I want to say a few words about John McDonnell. Um, is a guy I met once in my life, um, and we decided to, uh, he passed last year in June, and a couple of weeks after he passed, the Connacht Council decided to name the Connacht Coach of the Year after him, and we felt it was really, really important that, that he was recognised, um, and also that he was um, that recognised in Ireland and, and his name would live on um, as a Mayo man. Many of you may or may not know who John McDonnell was, but um, to give a very, very short summary, he was born in, in Cross Malina in, in County Mayo, and for 30 times he was named the US Coach of the Year, and, and, and that, that says a lot, and, and obviously coached 23 Olympians, including Frank O'Mara and Paul Donovan, Niall Bruth and Alistair Craig. And, and the biggest statistic about John McDonnell is that he is the most successful coach in U.S. college history. And that includes American football, baseball, basketball, you name it. He is the most successful coach in the NCAA. Um, so he's hugely respected uh, in, in the states where he lived. But, but Ireland never left him. Uh, and he still had, still had his Irish accent. He was very, very proud. So before I pass the floor to his daughter, Heather, who's going to present the award for, for the coach of the year, I want to try to, um, to, to, to just show maybe two short videos of, of how highly regarded uh, John was in, in the States. So if you can just bear with me, I want to just share something on, on this now, okay? Speaker, I seek unanimous consent to address the House for one minute. Without objection, the gentleman's recognized for one minute. Madam Speaker, I rise today to recognize the life of a legend 
in Arkansas sports, the late Razorback track and field coach, John McDonald. Coach Mack was laid to rest last week, leaving a truly remarkable legacy. The most decorated coach in NCAA history, having won 40 national championships in indoor and outdoor track and cross country. He was a national coach of the year 30 times and is responsible for six NCAA triple crowns at Arkansas. He coached and mentored some of the world's best athletes, Southwest Conference champions, Southeast Conference champions, NCAA champions, Olympic champions. He himself was an outstanding runner, and he knew how to help his student athletes become successful. Coach Mack was a native of Ireland. He came to the U.S., graduated from Southwest Louisiana, earned his citizenship in 1969. He devoted his life to inspiring young people to excel. On the many occasions I had the chance to visit with Coach McDonald, I always came away thankful in America that we were blessed to have him. When the starting gun fires and they're calling the hogs on the track that bears his name, we will all be reminded of his legacy of good works, great coaching, and his unrelenting Razorback spirit. My deepest condolences to his wife of more than 50 years, Ellen, children Sean and Heather, and the rest of the McDonald family. I yield back. Well, I hope that showed you all the level of respect that John McDonald has held in, in the state. Is recognized. And we can all be, we can all be very, very proud. In, in order to continue the lectures, I'm now pleased to recognize. One moment. YouTube, YouTube hasn't turned off me here. One second. Yeah, lovely. So without further ado, uh, I would like to hand the floor to John's daughter, Heather McDonald, who is dialing in from Arkansas. Uh, to say that she was enthusiastic uh, about, about being on the call is an understatement. When I mentioned, uh, you know, presenting the award, she was ready to book a flight home um, for, for, for the ceremony. So uh, really, really happy to have you on the call. Heather, if you're there, uh, and I think you're with your mother and your brother, we're so proud of John. We're so proud that a son of Ireland uh, achieved what he had, had achieved in Arkansas. And we're so proud that he's left such a great legacy for the sport. The one thing that I always hear about John McDonald for the athletes he coached was it's never about the performance. It was always about how he molded young men and young women uh, to be better people for the future. So, so Heather, very happy to hand the floor to you to read out the nominations. And you're welcome to say a few words, because I'm sure there's lots of people on the call. be very happy to, to hear from you. Well, thank you. Um, greetings from Fayetteville, Arkansas. This is my mother, Ellen McDonald, and my husband, Jeffrey Hastings. So, and of course, our dogs. So you've probably seen our dogs. <laughs> um, yeah, we're so proud and honored that you would do an award in dad's name. Um, I'm sure he's shining down, telling all the kids and runners, good job, kid. So we're just really thankful. He loves, we love Ireland. He loves Ireland. That was always his home. Um, and whenever he was coaching athletes, he always told us, you know, his job was to inspire others to do their best in their, in their, in, in their personal lives, but just to be the best that they could. And when he coached he, and coaching us as family, he always said, um, it's, not, it, it's not about the individual. If you perform it, you do your best and it, you do it as an individual, the team will succeed. It was always a team effort. And he always told his athletes, when one, when one man goes down, another person steps up. And that's really the epiphany of what he did, just the inspiration he did for others. So we're so proud of him. We're so proud of all of you. Um, we miss dad greatly, but we're just happy that he, I mean, he left a legacy. So we know he's looking down from above. Um, Yes, thank you for having me and my husband and my brother couldn't be here. He's at work, but he sends his congratulations to everybody. And of course, we hope to get to Ireland very soon. So I'll hop on that plane really quickly. Thank you very much, Heather. And, and it was great. We could actually see you. I should have been pinning more people to, to the call. And it's lovely to see your mother as well. Um, and we love we love your green your green top as well. So, so oh yes, know. that's just for Ireland. Thank you. We love we, Ireland. We know how proud your dad would be. So Heather, this isn't a free a free conversation. You've got to do a little bit of work. So so this is the John McDonald Award for the Connacht Coach of the Year. So if you can see your screen, Heather, um, and you can see the names, would you be kind enough to read out the names yes. of all the very deserving coaches? So over to you, Heather. So the nominations for the John McDonald Award Connacht Coach of the Year, Dermot. McDermott from Sligo, Emmett Dunleavy from Sligo, Brendan Glynn, Hallway City Terrier, 
Philip Finnerty, Moy Valley, Patrick, Patrick Joyce, had Patrick Joyce, Lake District, Dermot Cohen, Locke Lurgan, Ronnie Ward, Cragwell, Peter Hines, Swinford, and Connor McCann, North Sligo. Heather, that was great, and I'm sure they will all love hearing their name with, with a Southern American accent. You did a really, you did a really good job. Oh, before, thanks. Before you name the coaches, Heather, just, just to say a few words, this is undoubtedly uh, the most competitive uh, award of the night um, because there's so many coaches there who've had such a huge impact on, on, on the sport, uh, not alone just in Connacht, but in Ireland. And it's fitting that they, you know, that coaches aren't competitive for, for individual awards. Clearly, coaches want... Uh, their athletes to, to get the award and but they put in a huge amount of time and, and even being recognized uh, for a nomination is, is you know is a great boost to any of the coaches and the fact that it's named after John McDonald is, is really really important and really cements the legacy between John and coaching and Connacht and, and we're really proud that, that you accepted uh, that we could name the award after him as well so Heather can you name the uh, joint winners of this year's award okay I'm looking it's on, it's on your screen yeah, sorry. Um, I was looking at my email. Um, it's for the John McDonald Award, Connick Coach of the Year, male Brendan Glynn. Brendan Glynn from Galway City Harriers and Galway City Harriers. And jointly won with Philip Finnerty of Moy Valley. <laughs> and he's a Mayo man, so your dad would be yeah. very, very proud of that. So Heather, thank you. If, if we could just, if you could stay in the line just for one moment, because I'd like you to present the female award as well. But oh. I definitely want to get a few words uh, from the, from the two coaches. So. So Brendan Glynn and Phil Affinity, clearly, guys, uh, there's a huge number of, of coaches. And, and obviously, th this award will, will recognize coaches in, in, in times to come. But if Brendan is on the line, Brendan coached, you know, two Olympic athletes this year and a world relay medalist. And this is, you know, it's a sprints coach uh, in the west of Ireland operating under uh, unforgiving conditions. But he has, has worked miracles. So, Brendan, if you're on the line, I'd love to see you and say a few words. Cheers, thanks, Pierce. Um, thanks to Connacht Athletics for this award. I'm very honoured. Um, thanks, Heather, as well. I met John years before I started as a coach at a talk, and so much an inspiration he was that I still quote a couple of his stories to my athletes on a regular basis, and I use some of these pool <coughs> sessions in training to this day. Um, I think this award probably should go to my wife. She's long suffered me away from athletics. She says athletics is uh, the other woman in our marriage, so uh, <laughs> I have to thank her. <laughs> And um, also, it, it really, it takes a village to build an athlete. Any coach will know that. And it's no different for myself. So, so really, being mainly a varsity coach, I, I have to say, well done to all the juvenile coaches around the country. Because usually, I'm only building on the great work they've done. In particular, my own club, Galway City Harriers. Um, the college itself had been a great support. Um, also, Paul McMurray, the current uh, H HB of uh, Athletics Ireland, he's the one that actually got me into coaching he pushed me to do that so thanks for giving me that little push at the start and uh, all the officials are always helping at competitions around and athletes and their families and all that so it's 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 really a village to build an athlete so thanks to all that village thank you very much uh brendan if philip is on the line philip do you want to say a few words as well Phil affinity from my valley <clears throat> hi pierce um i just like to thank yourself and conflict athletics for the award um i'm honored uh, John McDonald was held in such high esteem. Uh, my own mom and dad grew up not too far from where he would have grown up, maybe around the same era. Uh, he had a family here in town that most people would be familiar with. Um, a former athlete of his I'm good friends with, and she always speaks very highly of John. And a lot of her, his coaching philosophy would have flowed down to her. To her and she passed them on to me. I'd like to think if I picked up even a small bit because she always said while the sessions were legendary, he always looked after the athlete. He wanted to see the person develop as much as the athlete uh, develop. And I'd like to think if I do that in any way with any athlete I coach, that you know it makes some small difference in their life, whether they're successful or you know, the finish in the middle of the pack, the finish at the back. It doesn't really matter as long as they're improving as a person. And just header on a, another note, the same person from Arkansas is Edel Hackett, who used to babysit yourself and Connor. And she, yeah. said, she, she said she hopes you've forgiven her for the dog passing away all the years ago. 
Oh my uh, God. She, she had to hide it till your dad got home, she said, before she broke it, the news to him. But uh, getting back to the other point, sorry about that. Uh, I'm just honoured to have received this. Thank you. Thank you very much, Philip, and, and very well deserved. Um, because I, I know as, as somebody watching Connor cross country very close to this season, it was incredible uh, the success My Valley had. So to, to yourself and Brendan Glynn, uh, a huge round of applause uh, from you. You do a magnificent job. Tonight is a small token of appreciation, as you said. Uh, athletics is the other woman in your lives, but the coaches are often the unsung heroes of the sport, as our officials. Uh, we're very, very happy uh, to be able to, to acknowledge you tonight in that way. So, Heather, if you're still on, there's one more award yes. we'd love you to present, the Connor Coach of the Year for Female Athletes, and we'd love you to read out the names as well uh, before we give, it, we give the winner. All right, thank you. Okay, so the Connick Coach of the Year female nominations are Linda Nally of Galway City Harriers, Marie Mullen, North Slope Valley, Siobhan Kelleher, Kelleher, South Galway, Siobhan Lally, Loch Lurgan. Spoken like a true Irish one, it was Deirdre Clark. I think we might have lost the connection there. Um, I didn't hear it anyway. I hope it's not my Wi-Fi, but Deirdre Clark, Nee Gallagher. Oh. Uh, from Moy Valley. Yes, no problem, uh, Heather. So can you announce the winner, please, Heather? Yes, and the winner of the Connick Coach of the Year female goes to Marie Mullen of North Sligo. Congratulations. Thank you very, very much, Heather, and, and, and thank you. And I hope Marie is on the line uh, just to say a few words. You're in esteemed company tonight, Marie. If you're on, we'd love to see you. Uh, we'd love to hear a few words from you. Hi, Pierce. I'm just going to speak on behalf of Marie. Um, if that's okay, and uh, she's asked me to speak on her behalf, and thank you, um, Heather, for the award and um, Connacht Athletics, and I'll take the opportunity to thank Marie um, as chairperson of North Sligo. Marie has been with us a long time, longer than she'd probably like me to say, but she's one of the the backbone of our club and you know she helps all us newbies and keeps us all on track and really has done great service for North Sligo as a coach so thank you very much. Yeah, that was great and, and thank you very much to Marie as well we're, we're, we're very very appreciative of that. So we're back on screen and moving on to our, our next award uh, just to say again thank you to all the coaches um, especially the nominations and um, we will be recognizing coaches in the future as well we can only recognise, um, obviously, the, the male and female this year. And Heather, to you, to your mother, your brother and your husband as well, thank you so much for coming on the call. Um, I'm sure all those coaches got a boost out of you saying their name um, in, in your accent. And you're very welcome to stay on the call for about another hour and you'll see a lot more of our top athletes getting awarded. So, so yourself yeah. and your mother, very welcome to stay well, in line. We'll, we'll see you in Ireland very soon. We look soon. forward to it, Heather. We look forward to it. Be at the we're airport. Forward. For those of you who don't know, myself and Heather are Facebook friends. We've never even spoken before tonight, but uh, really happy, Heather, you came on board. And, and, thank and you. Thank you. Nice to meet you, every, everybody. Thank you. Lovely. So moving on now to the Connacht Master Athlete of the Year. Uh, and I'm hoping we're joined by 1972 Irish Olympian Philip Conway, uh, former Irish schools champion, former Irish senior champion. But most importantly, I would say as a legacy, he turned Belvedere into the top school in, in Irish schools athletics for his 40 or 50 years uh, as a PE teacher. So, Phil, if you're on the line, we'd love you to read out the nominations. Maybe he's not online. Phil, if you're there, you can join at any moment. And if you're not, because I'd like to keep things moving, I'll read out the nominations for Connacht Master Athlete of the Year. So, the I think nominations he's there, are. Pierce, but muted. He's there. Well, Phil, can you unmute muted. yourself? If you can press unmute, Phil, we'd love to hear from you. And if not, we'll come back because I want you to pre present a few other awards as well. So we can't hear you, Phil. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll read out the nominations. And if, if you can get your phone sorted, we'll welcome you later on into the call. So nominations for Connacht Masters Athlete of the Year. Jer Harkness from Tume, Padder Nugent from Athenry, Eamon Murphy, North Sligo, Sean Brannock from Galway City Harriers, John Fitzmaurice, Russ Common <laughs> Harriers, Jerry Carty, Galway City Harriers, and Tom Hunt of Mayo. Phil, are you there? Hi, can you hear me? Ah, lovely. Yes, we can hear you, Phil. How are you? You're welcome. I've just read out Thanks the nomination. Much. I'm conscious I want to keep it going, but I'm going to let you re uh, read out the winner if you want and say a few words. So the floor is yours, Phil. I'm not sure who the winner is. <laughs> okay. 
Congratulations, Sean. Uh, much deserved, but I have to be sure that it was you. And um, looking forward to 2022, when hopefully you can become the new record holder of the 56 over the bar. And uh, best wishes to you for 2022. Congratulations, Sean. Thank you very much, Philip. Sean Brennock won, won two senior titles, even as a master, and I think finished third in the shot put. And he's probably one of the three or four most medalled Irish athletes of all time um, from his juvenile days and his senior days and now, and now continuing to win medals in the Masters. Sean, if you're on the, on the line, you're welcome to say a few words. Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you fine, Sean. The floor is yours. Yeah, thanks very much for the award. Um, it's, it's nice to have these occasions to, to, to reflect on the year that's gone by and the years that have gone by. And uh, it just that uh, I suppose all the hard work is still paying off. So um, I'd like to say thanks to Phil for, for, for joining us as well. Uh, and yourself, Piers. Um, just uh, and, and to all the other uh, award winners and nominees, uh, continue the great work over the year. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Sean. And, and great to have you on the call and, and keep winning medals. So moving swiftly Thanks. on, and I'm really hoping that we have Katrina McKiernan still on the line. Katrina, are you on the line? Because we would love you to present the award for the Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Oh, I'm lovely, here. Katrina. The yeah, floor yeah. is yours then. So I'll put up the nominations so the, on the screen. The Connacht Master Athlete of the Year, the female. Uh, the nominations are Mary Barrett, La Rey, Linda Nally, Galway City Harriers, Karen Quick, Quirk, sorry, Galway City Harriers, and Mary Johnson, Sligo. Um, and the winner this, is... And the winner is Catherine Casserly. How do you pronounce it? <laughs> That's Catherine Casserly. Yes, Catherine Casserly, yes. Galway City Harriers, Katrina. Galway, Galway City Harriers, yes. Well done, Catherine. Thank you very much, Katrina. And just maybe to give a little bit of a tidbit from, from Catherine Casserly, she's a teacher in the presentation at the Roy. She coaches juvenile athletes um, in, in her original Hello, club Catherine. in Castlegar. But she also, the big thing about Catherine Casserly is uh, her brother Stephen won the boys under 12 cross country title in, in the mid 1990s, and 20 minutes later, Catherine won the girls under 14. And that photograph of Catherine um, in her Galway City Harriers vest has her brother Stephen behind her in his Castle Gar vest, which was taken on New Year's Day in the resolution run. So they're both still um, sibling rivalry. Catherine, if you're on the, on the line, um, we'd love you to, to, to say a few words. Uh, we know cross country is very close to your heart, and it was lovely to have Katrina present you this award. So if you're on the line, the floor is yours, Catherine. Hi, Piers. Can you hear me? You can? Yeah, you're loud and clear. Thanks, Katrina. Uh, I've met you many of time and you're, a, you're an absolute hero for, uh, of mine. So thanks very much. Um, that picture, Piers, Stephen was only on a trot that day. He, he, there, there was no rivalry that day. He was only out on a trot. But um, just thanks to Piers and all the Connacht Committee for organising the awards tonight. Um, Piers, you've put Connacht Athletics uh, to the fore this year um, by putting Connacht Athletics on the map. And it's great to see it. You know, it's great to see Connacht Athletics been acknowledged and rewarded. Um, congratulations to all the award winners. And it's great to see so many uh, Prez Athenai students been awarded tonight. Our past pupil, Killian Green and Liam Shaw, our current students, Liam Shaw and Evan Hanlon have been awarded tonight. So it's great to see that. Um, just re in regards, my condolences to the O'Brien family. I remember Michael well um, lining up for races so many years. And the, the crack that himself and Michael Hart used to be at the starting line, I, I remember as well. Um, it's also great to see Liam Morgan joining us tonight. Um, I had the privilege of having Liam as a team manager at one of our school's competitions, international competitions, and a pure gentleman. So great to see you online tonight, Liam. Um, do you know, athletic, anyone can do athletics. Anyone can take part in athletics. Um, like not everyone is going to win a race, but you can always go out and beat your own time or, or try and beat somebody that is in the same ability as you. Do you know what I mean? So that's the best thing about the best thing about athletics and the, the best part of athletics. Um, and just finally, before I go, can I just thank my coach, Decky Madden? Uh, Decky started coaching me last uh, February and he's put a bit of manners on my training. <laughs> and as a result of him doing that and I put a bit of manners on my training, I'm starting to run well again. And you mentioned the New Year's Day race. Uh, I broke 18 minutes for the first time in 18 years on, on Sunday. Like little did I know. 18 years ago, I was never going to run 18 minutes again for a long time. My PB is 16.48, but it took me 18 years to break it. And only for him, uh, that was, it was him. It's, it's, it's him, the cause of it. So thanks, thanks, thanks to Decky and thanks, everybody. Well done, Catherine.
Great. <laughs> Thanks a million, Catherine and Katrina. Great to see it and, and, and lovely to have that. And Katrina, thanks a million uh, for presenting that award again. You can see how important it is to the athletes to, to even have you call out their name. Moving on to our next award is the Connacht Under-20 Athlete of the Year. And I was hoping that Brendan Glynn from Galway City Harriers, who might have picked her interest in this award, would read out the nominations and say a few words uh, about the winner. So, Brendan, the floor is yours. Sure. Um, you put the nominations, if that's right. So the nominations are Irla Golding from St. Coleman's, Robert McDonald from Galway City Harriers, and Connor Cusack from Lake District. And the winner is uh, Robert McDonald from Galway City Harriers. Uh, they're all deserving winners, but I'm delighted to see, as, as Rob's coach, I'm delighted to see him win. Uh, it was a great year, 2021 for him. He was national junior champion over 200 meters, where he ran a PB of 20.93. He uh, came third in the National Seniors 400 metres. Uh, he ran a PB of 46.59. Um, he went to the European Junior Championships and came fifth, which was really building on his Youth Olympics from 2019, where he was ninth, so progression there. And he was also a travelling sub for the, the mixed relay that went to Tokyo, which is a uh, teammate, uh, Killian and fellow Connacht athlete, Chris. Um, all this, and he's still 19 years of age. Um, very, very shy, quiet lad at training. Um, really, really nice and inspiration to others around him. Turns up, positive attitude, never complains. And underneath that, there's a real steely determination and fire in his belly. He's not happy with fifth in Europe or traveling as a sub to Tokyo. He wants more, and I'd say he's one to watch for the future. Congratulations, Rob. Thank you very much, uh, Brendan. Uh, Robert, if you're on the line, you're welcome to say a few words. And if you'd rather uh, let your legs do the talking with your racing, that's absolutely fine. But the floor is yours if you want to say a few words and maybe thank the people around you. Oh, yeah. Uh, thanks for the award and uh, thanks for those words, Brendan. Just want to thank my coach there, Brendan Glynn, and uh, my club, GCH, and college, uh, NUIG. And I just want to thank uh, my friends and family for supporting me. So, yeah, thank you. Thanks, Robert, and best of luck for the season ahead. You had a really good year, and, and it was great that Brendan was able to read out his achievements. And I've no doubt you'd be knocking down the door, Robert, for, for World Indoor Tour and Continental Tour lanes very, very soon. So, so keep up the good work. So moving swiftly on to the Connacht Under-20 Athlete of the Year female, and we're delighted to welcome uh, a coach who knows no limits. He's probably coaching between 150 and 200 athletes at any one time. Uh, Dermot McDermott is from Sligo. I know Dermot, you're doing a bit of babysitting there because you've been texting me, but we hope you can read out the nominations uh, and the winner of this award. So the floor is yours, Dermot. Thanks. Uh, thanks a million, Pierce. I hope you can hear me there. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know to do. Um, so the Connacht Under 20 Athlete of the Year female, uh, Sarah O'Toole, Galway City Harriers, Alex Joyce, Chum. Erin Tahani Corin and Alicia Larkin Crawwell. And the overall winner was Erin Tahani of Corin AC, who won the All Ireland under 18, 100 and 200 metres. And uh, she's since jumped on the bad wagon there in DCU. So she's on to bigger and better things. And no doubt she will actually kick on to a new level. So Erin's going places. And all the other three girls, top class girls, especially, well, I won't say, I, I shouldn't say especially Alex, but Alex Joyce is another wee girl there over there in Tune there. She's a wee top class girl. Had to give her a wee special mention, like, and, and same for the other two wee girls as well, like, top class. So very, very well done and very well done, Aaron. Top class. And well done to all the winners tonight as well. Top class. Brilliant. Well done. Thanks very much, Jeremy. It's great. And, and as I say, you're coaching between 150 and 200 athletes, and Aaron is one of the ones who's benefited from you. Aaron, you're from a great traditional club in, in Corrin and Sligo, and I know there are former club members uh, tuning in from Madrid and Spain tonight, uh, ready to hear from you. So if you'd like to say a few words, Aaron, we'd love to hear from you, just, just to, to introduce yourself and, and maybe thank a few people who helped you on your journey. Yeah, uh, thanks very much, Pierce. I hope everyone can hear me, but... Uh, thanks very much, Pierce, and everyone, I suppose, in Connacht Athletics for the award. I'm absolutely delighted to, to receive it. Uh, I know there was great excitement at home uh, between the mother calling me the night it was uh, announced and all. She was awful excited at home. So uh, thanks very much. Um, 
thank you to all the officials I suppose that facilitated the competitions and stuff last year uh, it was great to get racing last year with I suppose COVID and all that kind of crap going on uh, so thanks very much to them I'm actually delighted that Dermot present my uh, award and um, because I suppose he's the man that's got me to where I am today so yeah I can't thank him enough uh, he's a legend down in our town and around the country and um yeah, I suppose on behalf of myself and I suppose all the training group at home, uh, I miss them lots now that I've jumped ship, but a uh, great group at home and all all down to Dermot. He's gave us so many opportunities and all uh, between New York and France and Ireland in general. Uh, can't thank him enough. So thank you very much, Dermot. Um, to all the gang at home, all the family for all your support uh, between lifts and uh, watching on on uh, I suppose the live streams and stuff for the races uh, they've always been there and always gave great support and advice so thanks very much to them and lastly I suppose Cara and AC uh, yeah club at home always so supportive and anything I need they they always uh, are there to help so thank you very much to them and yeah delighted to receive the award uh, it's been a great evening I've really enjoyed it and congratulations to everyone and also to the other girls that were nominated Um. I'm delighted to get it above them because I know it was a it was a very tight field and everyone had a great year. So thank you very much. Thank you, Aaron. Yeah, great speech. You're, you're well able to chat and look forward to, to seeing you. Sorry, Jeremy, do you want to say something? No, oh, just fair play, play, fair play, Aaron. Top class. She's always top yeah. class. Absolutely, Aaron. Looking forward to seeing, seeing your career develop in Dublin, Aaron, and well done to you. Moving on to the Connacht Under-18 Athlete of the Year. Now, Phil, we'd love you to present this as well for, for obvious reasons, so we hope you've figured out your, your technological issues. Are you there, Philip? Yeah, I'm here. Can you hear me? Good. Yeah, it's all yours. If you can read out the nominations, then the winner, that'd be great. Um, the nominations are Matthew Madden, Evan Hallinan, Declan O'Connell, Liam Shaw, Dermot Duffy, Stephen Mannion, and Jack O'Shaughnessy. And the winner for 2021 is Liam Shaw of Athen Rye. Congratulations, Liam. Um, I saw you competing at the Taltine Games in the discus, but I did hear word on the day that there was a terrific shot put competition in the Taltine Games in the inside arena, and you were a part of that. And you're on the Schools International, and hopefully that was an eye opener and a start for. Uh, the years ahead and back in the day Dr. Pat O'Callaghan told me one thing he was judging in the Conmet at the Munster School Sports and I threw at the time 50 feet which was 1532 and he just said one thing keep at it so there you are I'm saying that to you keep at it congratulations Philip thank you very much and, and great words of wisdom Liam Shaw has had an outstanding year and we love our little historical facts. Liam Shaw is the youngest ever winner of the Irish under 20 shot put title. He got an international schools medal. He competed and won county medals at hurdles. He's a fantastic combined events athlete and comes from a great athletics family in Athen Roy. And you will remember uh, his father was nominated for the, or won the official of the year award as well. Liam, I know you're a man of few words. Uh, you let your throwing do the talking, but if you want to say a few words, we, we'd love to hear from you. Thanks, Pierce. I'm more, I'm more of a man of many shouts than I'm throwing the shop, but um, uh, thank you for, for the kind words, Philip, as well. I, I really do appreciate them, and I, I hope I will keep at it, and hopefully I'll be at your level one day. Um, it's been such a hectic year. Um, I was delighted to do as, as many competitions as I did, and thank you to all the officials who, who helped get them competitions going for us athletes um and i'd like to thank my coaches um my dad especially he's been such a star this year helping me putting in so many hours it's it's incredible how, how many how, how much he's put into me and i can't thank him enough and thank you to mary mary barrett and the uh, two brannock sean and michael as well who have helped who've helped me as well and everyone at athena ac thank you so much everyone thank you Liam, that was great, and it's lovely to, to, to congratulate your dad as well, and your dad is coaching uh, a lot more than just you. He comes down to Tume every, every couple of Saturdays and coaches a big throwing crew in Tume Athletic Club as well, and we're very grateful, uh, Ian, for all the effort you put in. But we're looking out for you, uh, Liam, with, with, with lots of hope and promise. You had an outstanding year this year. You're a very dedicated athlete. Uh, you've always had time for 
uh, for young kids uh, and, and it was great as well at the, at the Tokyo Olympics and the Olympic champion uh, gave you his bib to show you his number and um, how highly regarded you as well which, which was lovely so, so well done to you Liam. So next award of the night is the Connacht Under-18 Athlete of the Year female and we're delighted to welcome uh, to, to, the, to, the, to the call uh, the Galway City Harriers PRO and indeed uh, renowned coach Seamus Lynch and Seamus has been a major driving force uh, of the Connacht PRO group uh, who created this awards? It's the first ever Connacht Athletic Awards, and you can see the amount of goodwill and enthusiasm that's been there. And it's just been it's been ready just to be glued together. Uh, and Seamus has been a big part of that uh, with, with the many hats he wears. So, so Seamus, the floor is yours. Introduce the nominations, and then say a few words about the winner. Thanks, a million, Pierce. Um, so um, the nominations were uh, Maya O'Connell from St. Colmans, Angela Chalachka from GCH. Alex Joyce from Toom, Jade Moorhead from Crowell, Ava McKeown from GCH, and Quiva Farrell from Lockery. And the winner was Angela Chalachka from GCH. So I'll say a few words, I suppose. Um, so first of all, she first of all, congrats to the other nominees because they were all very worthy. Some very good athletes there. Um, but I, I guess Angela was a very deserving winner. She competed 13 times in 2021 and she won 12 times and was second the 13th time. So it's not too bad. Um, she had a, a gold in the 80 and the long jump in the nationals and a silver in the 200. And I think, I think it's fair to say if there was a relay and hopefully there will be relays again this year, if there was a relay this last year, she would have won a gold in that, or at least a silver anyway. Um, so she won four golds in the Connets and four golds in the in Galway. So uh, hard to beat that, I suppose. Um, but I suppose her success then is really down to herself. She comes to training with a smile on her face. She puts in a lot of hard work. Um, she pretty much goes to every session. Um, she's there's there's no diva about her. She's uh, she's low profile, low key. Uh, friendly, humble, modest, um, and her parents are the same, and I think that's important too. Her parents are lovely people, very grounded, um, and that's a good success, a recipe for success, I guess. Um, she obviously has the talent to back it up too. Um, she has a really good coach as well called Ken Walsh, and he deserves an awful lot of credit. And this year we were very lucky to welcome back to the fold uh, Pauline Harrington, who is a coach that might be known to people from the from maybe 10 years, 20 years ago. She came back to GCH and put a lot of structure and um, brought really, really good training plans back to the club. And uh, Angela is one of the beneficiaries of, of that. Um, yeah, so, but I think overall the award is, is Angela's, it's 90, 95, 99% belongs to her and she's totally deserved it. And we're absolutely thrilled uh, that she's won it. So well done to Angela. Thanks a million. Thank you, Seamus. And, and thanks for all the continued good work. If Angela's on the line, um, you're welcome to say a few words, Angela. And if you'd prefer to, to, to not say anything, that, that's fine as well. But, but the floor is yours. I think Angela, you, you let your jump in, uh, do the talking this year. And that's absolutely Congratulations and well done on, on winning the award. Next awards are for the Roadrunners of the Year. So Katrina, it's your final awards uh, and clearly with your background, I put up a different photograph of you uh, winning the London Marathon and, and still having the Irish record. Despite people getting close to it, we'd love you to present uh, the nominations uh, for the Connacht Roadrunner of the Year. Yeah, okay. Um, uh, so first of all, it's Seamus Summers, Sligo. Martin Kearney, Galway City Harriers, Hugh McArdle, Roscommon Harriers, and William Fitzgerald, Crockwell. And then the kind of Roadrunner of the Year Award goes to Phelan McGowan, North Sligo. So well done, Phelan. And as you said, Pierce, it's uh, the last presentation that I'm doing. And I just want to say to yourself, well done for organising uh, this. Obviously, it would be nice to have it uh, in reality, but hopefully next year that can happen. And well done to all the, the coaches and all the volunteers. Uh, they put in a lot of work 
I suppose they don't get enough credit. It's always the athletes that come to the forefront. But um, I know from my own coach, Joe Doonan, back in the day, he put in a Trojan amount of work. And uh, obviously, he did like to keep in the background as well and not have too much pressure on himself. But um, just a final word to the athletes. Um, just keep training away. Do your best. Make no excuses. Um, and just, you know, with whatever facilities or whatever you have, make the most of it. And um, I suppose I'll just finish off with a little story myself. You know, I, I grew up in a very rural part of Cavan and there was nothing, only the, the fields at home and the football pitch. And it wasn't until I got won a couple of All-Irelands would I even venture out on the road. Um, it just wasn't the done thing at the time. I remember the neighbour, one neighbour went into the, the pub and he said there's a daughter of John McKernan's running around the roads and I wouldn't mind her people are decent people so thankfully we've come a long way since then and um, you know I didn't have much facilities and I did have the opportunity to go to America but um, I decided against that and uh, I worked hard with what I had and it did work out for me and that's what I would say to the athletes you know don't be making excuses and you know, if you if you work hard, if you're committed, if you're dedicated, if you have those goals and focuses, you can be the best that you that you that you want to be. And uh, just enjoy the journey along the way because it is a journey, and there will be good days and maybe not so good days. But just you know, enjoy it all. And well done to everybody, and keep safe and healthy, and have a, a great 2022. Trina, you've been an absolute star for for a woman from decent people. Fair play to you. You've been brilliant. <laughs> Um, and the thing is, your words carry so much weight with all the athletes as well, and, and you know that. So, so all those kind of stories are really well appreciated. So, so thank you very, very much for that. So thank just you, to get Pete. back to our award winner, Phelan McGowan, he ran just over 220 in the Valencia Marathon. Um, to be fair, he, it was a super performance. He wasn't even on the nomination list before that because it was a very difficult year for road running. And I saw a tweet saying that he just ran over, I think it was 222 or 223, which is a superb uh, marathon time. Phelan, if you're there, you're very welcome to come and say a few words. You've just uh, had your Connacht uh, Roadrunner Year Award presented uh, by one of the greatest athletes the country's ever produced. So we'd love to hear from you if you're, the, if you're on the line. Hi, Pierce. Um, thanks. Thanks a million. Um, yeah, I'll say thanks, first of all, uh, to Katrina McKiernan. It's, um, it's a bit surreal even, even to have uh, such a world-class um, athlete of Katrina's uh, calibre presenting an award to me. Um, so thanks so much and thanks for the encouraging words to all of us. Um, and thanks, Pierce, um, to you and all of Con Athletics for organizing this award. Uh, this awards night, it's a great um, idea to bring the whole community together and to kind of recognize all of um, Yeah, so I'll just thank my club, North Sligo, uh, for all their support, um, especially my first coach, um, Michael Carney. Um, and well done to all the uh, the nominees um, on, on the Roadrunners, I'll say a special well done to uh, Seamus Summers, um, another Sligo man. Um, I guess, uh, I'm not sure, I turned on my video just before um, and I was kind of, the family paused the uh, Harry Potter 20th anniversary to come in and watch this and I was shooing them away saying, no, 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 go back, go back. So while they're all here, I'll say, uh, thanks to them for their support as well and especially um, to my girlfriend, Lisa, who, came over to Valencia with me and was doing the, the gels at 30 kilometers and 39 kilometers, all that kind of thing, um, which is always a bit of fun, a bit of an adventure involved. Um, yeah, and uh, I just want to say uh, well done to um, all the winners and all the nominees um, of all the awards. Uh, it's great to see Connacht Athletics going from strength to strength, and um, I hope it's the same in 2022 again. So uh, thanks again. Thank you. Thanks very much, Phelan. Really, really good, and, and the best luck to you. Katrina, I told you in White Lie, actually, there's a, there's the female Connacht Roadrunner of the Year, and I'd love you to do that one as well, because uh, that's a pretty big one for Connacht this year, if you don't mind. Absolutely. Yeah, no problem. Absolutely. Delighted to appear. So, if you want to read out the nominations, or if you have them yeah, on yeah. the screen. Yeah. Bear with me one second now, and we have that now. So, um, so Connacht Roadrunner of the Year female winner is Sinead Diver, Mayo. Correct. I mean, Aoife Kilgallen yeah. and, and, and Nasa Burke uh, nominated as well. But uh, a huge performance this year from, from, from Sinead. Uh, yeah. Top 10 in the Olympics. 
Um, she is really, really proud, obviously, of her Connacht roots, uh, a very, very proud Irish woman. She's currently at an altitude training camp uh, high up in Australia, um, and she was devastated she couldn't be on. She said the Wi-Fi would embarrass her, uh, and she was doing an early morning run. However, she did uh, send a video message, so I'd love to share it with you all. Uh, so if you bear with me, I'll find this video message um, and, and put it on. I hope everybody can hear it. Hi, guys. Um, first off, I just want to apologize for not being able to be on the Zoom call live. I'm on a training camp in at altitude in Australia at the moment, and the internet is really flaky. So I figured it'd be better just to pre-record a message and send it through to Pierce. Um, thank you to Connacht Athletics um, for honouring me with this award. I'm sure it wasn't an easy decision with um, Sarah and Michaela also in the running, so thank you very much. And also uh, thank you to Tom Hunt and Mayo Athletics for nominating me for the award in the first place. Um, as you know, running can seem like uh, a solitary sport at times, but um, for this build-up in particular, um, I've been very fortunate to have the best of the best helping me out in so many ways and, you know, helping me achieve that top 10 place at the Olympics. Um, I really owe a lot of thanks to uh, my coach, Nick, for providing a, you know, a training environment to help me thrive. Um, also, um, assistant coach, uh, Collis Birmingham, who um, took over while Nick was overseas uh, in the build-up to the Olympics. And Collis helped me out with training sessions and general, you know, training camp logistics. And he was just the man on the ground helping me uh, every day with uh, the preparation for the Olympics. Um, also, I had Athletics Australia and the Victorian Institute of Sport offering so much support um, for this preparation as well. Um, you know, I had to do a lot of heat prep to get ready for the conditions in Sapporo. Um, and the VIS were kind enough to uh, let me use their uh, heat chamber for a few weeks in the lead up. And yeah, I mean, it's been great. We had um, Jess Rothwell from the VIS as well, helping with nutrition and hydration, which was really important for such a hot race as well. Um, so I had so many people helping me and uh, I'm just was very relieved and delighted to, you know, to have such a, a great result at the end of the day. Uh, I also want to say a special thank you to my family for all the love and support, uh, in particular to Colin and my boys. Uh, Colin really has, you know, gone above and beyond um, taking on way more than his fair share of parenting duties and household duties to make sure that, you know, I could focus on um, uh, training and working towards the my goal at the Olympics and having Eddie and Dara uh, be part of this journey you know it's a lot more fulfilling with them by my side and it's a lot more fun so I feel very fortunate to be in this position um, so yeah so thank you all very much for recognizing my achievement um, and yeah I really appreciate it and I hope you all have a great night Thank you. I hope you all heard that, Katrina. Thank you very, very much. And, and, and great to, to hear from Sinead. And we'll all be following her uh, with the same interest. We followed her all, all year long. And, and it's great to have a Mayo woman doing so well uh, on, on the global stage. Top 10 in the Olympic Marathon and top 12 in the London Marathon. It's an incredible achievement. So, so well done to Sinead. And we're very, very proud of her in, in, in Connacht. So our next award winner is a very special athlete. It's the Connacht Distance Athlete of the Year. We've named the award after Mary Cullen. Uh, Mary, as you all will know, uh, is a member of North Sligo Athletic Club. Uh, she won a European indoor bronze medalist uh, or bronze medal in 2009 over 3,000 metres. She is, has had a very challenging journey since then, but is certainly one of the most inspirational athletes uh, we've ever had in, in the province and, and still holds the Irish indoor record for 3,000 metres. And we'll all know that you know, some of the 3,000 metre runners we produce in this country and none of them, you know, whether it's a Keir McGeen or a Sonia Sullivan, Mary has ran faster than all of them um, and, and is an absolutely fantastic athlete. I think Mary is on the line. Uh, Mary, we're very happy to have the award named after you um, and we'd love you to present the nominations uh, and maybe say a few words if you wanted to as well. So over to you, Mary. Hi, how are you? Um, can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Yeah, can you hear me? Hear me now? All right. Um, you yeah, know, firstly, just thanks a million peers for naming the award after me. Um, obviously, it's a massive honour. And 
Um, it's just amazing what you're doing for Con Athletics. So a big thank you uh, for that. Um, yeah, look, at it. it's been it's been a bit of a roller coaster the last uh, two years, I guess, three years nearly now. Um, when I was diagnosed with cancer, but one of the biggest things was having the athletic community and um, even you peers, like you know, reaching out to me um, when I was sick. It meant a lot, and yeah, we're just very lucky to have the community we have. I think all of us would say here as runners, um, there's just massive support in it. So um, yeah, it's a it's been a journey, but we're on the other side of it now. Hopefully, so all is good. Great, for Mary, you've inspired us all as well. So don't worry. Um... And there's plenty of fight in you left, I'm sure. Do you want to <laughs> the, the nominations for, for, for the distance athlete of the, of the year? And as you can imagine, it was uh, an extremely competitive year uh, for Connacht Athletics. Yeah, massively competitive. Um, so congratulations to all the nominees who are Kia McPhillips from Longford, Sinead Diver Mayo, Keelan Killeran of Moy Valley, Catherine Castley, Galway City Harriers, and Ricky Wynn of Drum Shambo. And the winner is Kian McPhillips of Longford. Um, massive congratulations to Kian. Obviously, he showed massive talent breaking um, none other than Mark English's junior records. So um, he's a massive bright future, obviously, ahead of him. So congratulations, Kian. Mary, thanks very much. You not alone broke Mark English's junior record. He broke Ray Flynn's 45-year-old Irish under 20, 1,500-meter record yeah, as well. Yeah, I missed that so, part, which is even better again. <laughs> And, and he's one of the coolest cucumbers I've ever seen uh, in a race interview. I remember when he was interviewed after the, um, when he got through the heats in the European indoors this year and the uh, analysts in the studio were dissecting the tactics of 800 and, and the, the, uh, the guy in the mix zone said to him, Keen, you know, what were your tactics? He said, it's very simple. You know, you, you run as fast as you can and you hope to get home um, in, in the first two or the first three. So Keen, I don't know if you're on the line, but we'd, we'd love to have a few words with you. You've had an incredible year and this isn't uh, the only award you won tonight, but uh, if you're on the line, we'd love to hear from you. Yeah, thanks very much, Pierce, for the award, and thanks, Mary, for the kind words. Um, I suppose I'd just like to thank a few people. Uh, to start off with, I'd like to thank my family. You know, I couldn't do anything without them, um, as well as, you know, all the support from home at Longford AC, especially, and, and Pat McCarrick from Longford. Um, I'd also like to thank, you know, Ray Flynn, uh, who's on the call here tonight, I think, for helping me with aspects of the sport I wouldn't be so familiar with, such as negotiating my behalf or helping me get into races. And uh, I'd also like to thank my coach, Joe Ryan, um, I wouldn't be anywhere without him, and I think uh, my achievements are just as much his as they are mine. So thanks for thanks again for the award. Cheers, Keen. It, it is a very special award, and we know now you're in UCD, and and obviously life has changed, but um, we've 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 seen the performances from you. I don't think anything will phase you, um, and and you are a very worthy winner of the first Mary Cullen uh, Award for the Connacht Distance Athlete of the Year. And um, we'll come back with maybe a few more words um, for the overall award, but 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 great to have you on the call, and the best luck for the season ahead as well. I'm sure we'll see you. Hopefully you're doing indoors. Are you planning an indoor season or, or what's your plans at the moment? Um, I actually took a fall in the middle of the forest there yesterday and kind of cut up my knee. So I'll put a pin in that for now. But uh, let's see, it might be a bit of a later start. But yeah, hoping to do it. No problem. I, I, mean, I, was, ho I was hoping actually, Keen, as well. We'd, I'd like to show the last 500 metres of your race, um, but I might leave at the end of the, of the call just, just to kind of get through the awards. But to show everybody how you won the European under 20, 1500 metres, I've got the last 500 on a video. So, so that will come in the next 10, 10 or 15 minutes. But but sincere thanks, Keen, and, and good luck with the injury. Good luck with that. And hopefully it's nothing too serious. Thanks, Bruce. Moving on to the Billy Glynn Award for the Connacht Jumper of the Year. Um, this will be presented by none other than 1960 uh, Irish schools and the 1962 Irish under 20 and senior long jump champion, Billy Glynn. And maybe before Billy comes on the line, just to share a little bit of history about Billy. Uh, Billy's dad won the Irish schools long jump title in 1918 in Crow Park and had his medal presented to him by Countess Markovich. So that's as far back as, as Billy goes. Uh, Billy has achieved success in, in, in all different spheres of his life, but, but many of you might, might be aware that he was the president of the IRFU back in, in, in 2012. Uh, he still has a huge interest in athletics uh, and is uh, you know, very much uh, you know, one of the royalty in Connacht Athletics. So Billy, very happy to hand the floor to you. If you want to say a few words, I'm sure you have a lot of friends on the call. And then if you read out the nominations for the Connacht Jumper of the Year named in your honour, be very grateful. So Billy, the floor is yours. <laughs> Uh, yes, Piers. First of all, I want to uh, thank you for all of the effort that yourself and your team have put into uh, presenting these presentations this evening, and indeed for inviting me to be part of it. 
Now, before I uh, 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 go any further, I want to refer to something that happened earlier this e evening, and that was the award to Father Kevin Ryle. Uh, if Kevin was alive today, he'd be 100 years old. And a lot of people listening this evening may not have known, uh, heard of him, but he was, a, he was a very distinguished member of the uh, staff of uh, Garbley College uh, uh, School in, Bal uh, in Ballinasloe. And way back in the 1950s, uh, when I was a student there, uh, he was the coach, both for athletics and uh, rugby. And he, he was a very accomplished scores, uh, coach. He, he regularly had a team that performed to the highest standard and many successes in athletics. And he, in his rugby coaching, he uh, succeeded in winning a record number of uh, Connock Schools uh, championships. Uh, he was from Kerry, Listowel, so I don't know how he managed to get to make his way in 1940, or, sorry, 1935 to Garbley College, but he was a great uh, addition to the school. And only recently I was talking to a number of my past, uh, fellow past pupils and every one of them eulogized about him. It's only right and, and fitting that he should have been acknowledged in this way this evening because I, I haven't seen any acknowledgement of him over the last 20, 30, or 40 years. Now, um, uh, he, uh, it, in the photograph you put up recently, uh, uh, there on the screen, there were two boys, one on either side of Kevin. And uh, some of you may wonder who they were, but they were two actually big, big, quite famous sportsmen. On the left, you had Tony White, who uh, was a schoolboy uh, triple jump and a uh, long jump champion. Uh, and he he won a Connacht Senior Gaily Football Championship with Ross Common in about 1962. Unfortunately, they were beaten in the semi-final. Uh, on the other side, you have Ray McLaughlin. Now, Ray was a, a, a schoolboy and university discus thrower and shot, put, shot putter of, of distinction. And uh, he was a champion as well. Now, Ray then, of course, went on to be, uh, he, he got, I think, about 49 caps for Ireland at international rugby. So the, the Kevin, both of those, if they were here tonight, would, would, would say, well, they attribute, attribute their successes to Kevin Ryle. So it's lovely to see that Kevin is being acknowledged. And I, I don't know, he had a brother, Seamus Ryle. I don't know if he's, he's still with us, but it would be nice if this was communicated to the Ryle, fam Ryle family. Uh, I imagine some of them are still in, in uh, Listowel. They would, I know, appreciate that. Now, um, uh, that's that's basically what I had to say. Um, so, Billy, if you Billy, thank you very much. Just, just to say before I share the screen again, um, this ceremony has been recorded on uh, will be on YouTube tomorrow. So, if anybody oh. wants to share, it'll be it'll be on the Connacht Facebook tomorrow. So, everybody oh, wants to look back on it or share it with the Royal Family. Oh, yeah. The, the, the nominations for your award for Connacht Jumper of the Year. Yes, the nominations are uh, Louise King, St Coleman, South Mayo, Angela. Uh, Chilekcha, Chilekcha, uh, Goldie City Harriers, uh, Evan Hallinan of Cropwell, and Kate Lally of Loch Lurgan. And, and, the, and the, the winner uh, is? Will the winner? Will I announce the winner? Yes, yeah, please. Yes, please. Uh, the winner is Evan uh, Hallinan of Cropwell Athletic Club. Now, could I say something about Evan, just a, a word or two before Absolutely. I Absolutely. Sure, it's your time, uh, Billy. Yes, I, I uh, studied all of his uh, performances last summer, and I see that as a 16-year-old, he, he's quite an exceptional athlete uh, at long jump, triple jump, and high jump. It's unusual that a boy would be that good in those three events. Yes, in long jump and triple jump, but to be a high jumper as well is quite extraordinary. I don't think I've ever come across a, a, a talented uh, a athlete at long jump, triple jump, and high jump. I see his, his difficulty will be, I, I imagine, to decide on which one is going to be his best. But I'm looking forward to, to meeting him and uh, I'm, going to, uh, I'm going to make it my business to get some of the championships that he's competing with this year. So I'd say to Evan that if uh, during the summer you, you see an 80-year-old standing at the end of the pit and, and uh, looking at you in a curious way, that'll be me. So that's really what I have to say to him. He, he's very talented and I, I really look forward to seeing him and wish him all the best for the future. Billy, thank you very much. And you're an inspirational 80-year-old uh, and you spoke very, very well and you, you were a great link 
back to 1918 and Countess Markovic and, and obviously then with your own career and yeah. Kevin Ryan and linking it to, to the current generation or the future, I should say, which is Evan Allen. And so you, you really summed them up well. Yeah. Evan, you're the first ever Connacht Jumper of the Year, the Billy Glynn Award winner. Do you want to say a few words? Uh, thanks, Pearson, Billy, for uh, the award. I just want to thank Mike Tobin and the rest of the coaches in Crawford's Day Club who helped me get to where I am now. And a big thanks to the rest of the athletes in our group who keep me going during the winter and everything. And I just want to say a final thank you to my family who drive me around to train and competitions. And I wouldn't be able to do it without them. Thanks. Evan, well done. Um, as Billy said, you're, you're a guy to look for in the future. You've had a great year. Uh, to be able to do all that and all the jumps is, is fantastic. And, and we're all very, very impressed. We'll all be looking out for you as time goes on. So you are the first ever Connacht Jumper of the Year. And, and congratulations. So the next award, I'm going to invite back uh, Philip Conway, is the Martin Sheridan Award, who's probably the most, well, he is the most medalled Irish uh, Olympic athlete uh, of all time, uh, from Bohol and County Mayo. Um, the award is very clearly named after his name. and We would love Phil Conway, the 1972 Irish shot and Olympian, to, to read out the honours, uh, the nominations and, and the winners. Are you there, For Phil? For the Martin Sheridan Award, um, Connacht Thrower of the Year nominations, Liam Shaw, Shaw, Athan Rye AC, Nina Wallace, St. Coleman, South Mayo, Sean Brahanock, Galway City Harriers, Connor Cusack, Lake District, Michaela Walsh, Swinford AC, and Jack O'Shaughnessy, Caltra. And the winner. Yeah, keep going, Phil. Is Connor Cusack uh, from the Lake District in the javelin throw. He's had a good year and uh, Hopefully, more distance in the years ahead. And um, there's other good throwers in that group as well. They're probably all bouncing off each other and helping each other. So congratulations and best wishes for 2022. And once again, Pierce, thanks for having me on board to assist in the presentation process. Thank you. Phil, <clears throat> Phil you're very welcome. And, and a great award there uh, for, for Conor Cusack. The Lake District is winning javelin titles at all age groups at national level, but Connor in particular uh, won the national seniors this year. But he also made the final of the European Under Twenty Championships. And, and and as you'll know, we don't make we don't have too many field event athletes to make finals um, of, of the Under Twenty Challenge. And his mother <coughs> Linda is a great stalwart in Lake District, and it's a really young club. They've got a new track, uh, and they really are coming um, in leaps and bounds. So Connor, if you're on the line, uh, you're very welcome to say a few words. We'd love to hear from you. And if you don't want to say anything, that's fine as well, Connor. No problem. Congratulations, anyway. You're the first ever winner of the marriage. Oh, no, sorry, no, my... oh, you're here, Connor. Yeah, sure. Floor is yours. Hello? Yeah, no, sorry. My Wi-Fi is just really bad now, so it just keeps kind of cutting in and out there. My apologies. Um, no, firstly, I'd just like to say thanks very much, Philip. It's um it's an honor to receive an award like that from uh, especially from a throws legend like yourself. Um uh, I'd like to say thanks to everybody for voting for me and uh more importantly, I'd like to say thanks to my mother. She's uh, she's been driving me the length and breadth of the country now for the last 10 years for various competitions and camps and whatnot. And I'd definitely be nowhere near where I am at the moment if it wasn't for her. Um, and then I'd just like to say a very special thanks to my coach as well at home, Paul Joyce, and everybody else involved in the in the Lake District Athletics Club. Um, again, just only for the work they put in there, I'd be competing nowhere near the level I'm competing at now. So thanks very much. Thank you, Connor, and it's great that you recognise Porrick Joyce. And Porrick was one of the nominations uh, for the Connor Coach of the Year, and I'm sure he'll get he'll get his recognition in due course. And it's also very nice that you mentioned your mother, Linda, because Linda called into to my house in Tume yesterday and picked up the eleven or twelve awards uh, for the whole of Mayo uh, and got them delivered uh, to everybody today. And everybody has their awards at home. So, uh, so th thanks to your mother as well, and the best luck to you, Connor, going forward. Moving on to, to an award very close to my heart, and she's been texting me all evening, so she's very impatient uh, to, to, to get her name on the screen. So for the Olive McNan Award for the Connacht Race Walker of the Year, uh, and it's been presented by, among other things, the 2009 World 20K Walk Champion, Olive McNan from Loch Ray, uh, the only uh, Connacht uh, athlete who just won a World Senior title. She also coached her sister to win a World uh, Youth Medal as well, but way back in 2003, she's been to four Olympic Games and she's a major contributor to, to sport in Ireland now as, as a board member for Sport Ireland. So, Olive, I know you're very, very shy, but we'd love to have you on, on, on screen to say a few words before you read out the nominations. 
Absolutely. Look, it's lovely to be here tonight um, and, and to see everybody and to see so many familiar faces. And there's some great athletes here, but it, it's also great to see so many clubs represented. Um, I was very lucky to have the support of Lockery Athletic Club for so many years and I couldn't have done it, done it without them. And it didn't matter whether I was um, on the top of the podium in Berlin or dragging myself around in a four by 400 meters in Tullamore, there was always someone there for me. And so I'm, I'm really grateful for that. And that's why it's, it's so great to see so many clubs here, here tonight. Um, it's obviously great to be among so many high achievers as well. Um, and to see what a great standard there, there is in Connacht and, and to see so much, so much talent coming through. Um, and I know Deirdre Gallagher um, or Deirdre Clark, I, I think you, some of you might know her as, was, was the first female uh, to, to go to the Olympics from Connacht. But now it's, it's just becoming quite, quite, uh, quite common. So, so that's a really good sign. So look, I'm here um, tonight. I, I won't say much more. Um, but I am here tonight to present the Race Walker of the Year Award. And the nominations are Jake O'Brien, from Moy Valley, uh, Kean McManaman from Westport, Savannah O'Callaghan from Tune, Matthew Newell from Clare River Harriers, Sinead Marr from Mar from South Galway, and Karen Mulvaney Kelly from North Leitrim. Um, so look, um, the winner of the award is Kean McManaman. So congratulations, Keen, and, and congratulations to all the other award winners. There's a strong tradition of race walking in, in um, Connacht, and uh, I'm sure it will continue long into the future. So congratulations, Keen. Olive, thanks very much, and I hope you didn't run out of wine before you, before you got a chance to make your, 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 your presentation. But really appreciate you being on uh, to the world champion uh, presenting a, a Connacht Athletics Award. It is obviously truly special for everybody on the call. Um, Keen McManaman missed the Olympics this year by about four or five places in the world rankings and he represented Ireland in, in the European team championships um, in April and May last year and he's been a, he's been a long time uh, national champion from schools um, I did my first coaching session with a very young Keen McManaman back in about 2008 um, over in, uh, in Swinford so Keen, if you're on the call we'd love you to say a few words I know you, you left the country this morning to, to move to a different parts of the world so uh, I don't know how you're getting set up with Wi-Fi but you're welcome to say a few words if you're on the call. Yeah, just if you can hear me, uh, thanks very much for the award. And it's it's an honour to receive it from Olive and everything she achieved over the years and the great pedigree of walkers we've had in Connacht. And just even the young walkers up there, you can see there's a lot of talent coming through again. And I think that re this reward will be something they'll be fighting for for years. So best of luck to them. And thanks to everyone for organising and everyone who's supported my career over the years. There's many ones back in Connacht and... I can remember those sessions in Swinford and all over the country, and it's the, the work the volunteers do that put in the foundations that set us up. It makes it easy for us at least. So thanks very much. Cheers, Keen. Thanks very, very much. And moving swiftly on because um, I, I know somebody's got to go to work for a 13-hour shift, and we're going to try and get on very, very quickly. Um, the Mary Barrett Award for the Multi-Eventer of the Year, presented by none other than Mary Barrett herself. Mary, I hope you're on the call. Uh, this is a very competitive award this year. And we'd love you to present uh, the nominations and the winner. Uh, good evening. Um, yeah, we can hear you loud and clear. Yeah, we can hear you, Mary. All yours. You. Okay, it's definitely all mine. Um, this is my event, the one event I think that's really important in athletics for all athletes should be trying this out. And the nominations this year are Louise King from St. Coleman South Mayo, Danielle Moynihan from Chew Macy, Jade Moorhead from Cropper Lacey and Dara Fahey from Lockray AC. And the winner of this year's award is Louise King from South St. Coleman's South Mayo. Thank you very much, Mary. Great to see the award named after you. You've been a stalwart for, for combined events. And in fact, um, Oliver now will credit you as our, as our first coach, even as race walking in Lockray. So you, you've really put in a huge um, uh, contribution to the sport and conduct. And it's lovely to have the award named after you. And uh, congratulations to Louise King, um, a, a, a very promising young athlete, national senior medalist as well. If Louise is on the on the call, she's welcome to say a few words. Hi, um, thank you to Mary for presenting the award, and thank you to Pierce and all at Connacht Athletics for 
holding the awards. And I also want to thank Jim <laughs> Ryan, my coach, for a good few years at this stage for everything he's done for me over the over the years. Thanks. Thanks very much, Louise. Great, great that you gave Jim a recognition as well. Um, Jim, Jim has been another stalwart and, and many, many years contributor to, to Connacht Athletics. So thank you very, very much. And best of luck for next season as well, Louise. So before we move on, what I'm going to do, guys, now, I'm going to push forward a bit and name the Paul Hessian Connacht Sprinter of the Year, uh, presented by two-time Olympian himself, Dr. Paul Hessian. It's 6 a.m. in Perth in Australia, and, and Paul got out of bed. Uh, to do this, to, to present these awards. And he told me he's doing a 13 hour shift. Um, Paul, of course, finished ninth in the 200 meters in the, in the Beijing Olympics in 2008, but he's had a huge career and he's still Ireland's fastest man over 100 and 200 meters. So Paul, if you're on the call, I'm sure there's plenty of people would love to hear from you and you can read out the nominations then after, after you say a few words. So the floor is yours, Paul. Uh, hi, Pierce, thanks. Can you hear me okay? Loud and clear. Great stuff. I'm um, sitting out in the back garden here. It's 6 a.m., but it's about 22 degrees. So, um, the uh, yeah, no, listen, it it's gives me great pleasure to to be able to uh, log in and uh, chat to you guys today and to present the 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 awards for the sprinter of the year. Um, it always gave me a huge amount of pleasure. Um, reiterating, I guess, some of the stuff that Olive just said about, uh, you know, I you. You'd run the circuit, you'd, you'd run for Ireland, but there was nothing better in some ways than uh, going to the Nationals and pulling on the maroon of Athenry and, um, you know, being able to, to represent yourself, but also the people of your town and the people that brought, brought me through from the very beginning. So, so very proud of where I'm from and uh, remain, remain so, you know. Um, when, I, when I was running, it was a bit of an oddity um, to have a, a Connacht sprinter even doing anything at national level um so uh, it's just amazing uh, what's what's been done since you know um i think the fact that um you know one of the nominees has won a a medal at the world relays and uh two of them um have uh met an olympic final is just incredible so uh, it gives me a huge amount of pleasure to uh to uh read out the nominees Paul, just before you read to nominees, do you want to just tell everybody what you're up to? Uh, you're in Perth in Australia. Yeah. Just, just give us a bit of a view of what life's like out there for you. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm over in Perth since July. Um, I'm uh, doing a fellowship in, in, in perioperative anesthesia. So I'm an anesthetist now. Uh, it's a bit less interesting than the old days, but pays the bills. Um, so I'm here for a couple of years and then hopefully heading back home then um, maybe in 2023. So, yeah, I was watching... Um, the uh, Olympics uh, in hotel quarantine back in in July, and it was um, it kept us going. I had two small kids, and they had um, had the uh, uh, doing long jump and and sprints up and down the the hotel room. So uh, it, uh, it's yeah, it's quite different out here. It's obviously the middle of the summer. It was forty four degrees on on Stephen's day, so um, we're struggling a bit with the heat, but it's 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 good. Yeah, it's good. Good good spot for a warm weather training camp if anyone's interested. Good, Paul. There, there's an open invite to the entire Connex Connex Athletic Athletic Association. Paul, listen, thanks a million. We're obviously very happy that you're coming back to Ireland at some point. Um, but we'd love you to read out the nominations for the Connex Sprinter of the Year. And as you said, a little bit like a treat of and coming from decent people, you're a bit of an oddity as a Connex Sprinter, but you certainly wouldn't be now with the work that Brendan Glynn and others are doing uh, to produce sprinters in, in Connex. And we had a really competitive uh, contest for Sprinter of the Year. So I'll leave the floor to you to, to name them out. So the nominations for Sprinter of the Year are Sarah Quinn from St. Coleman St. Mayo, Chris O'Donnell from North Sligo, and Killian Green from Galway City Harriers. So Paul, just before you name that, just to put that into context for everybody, the three nominations for the Connex Sprinter of the Year, one of them won a world medal this year and the other two made an Olympic final. So that's where the sport has come on, Paul, from where you were in the early noughties and to, to 2021. Exactly. And, and my wife, as my wife pointed out, and she's dead right, you know, I spent 10... 15 years trying to make an Olympic or world final. And I just, as you said, just missed out a couple of times and to be presenting the first Connacht sprinter of the year where two of the nominees surpassed what I did and made an Olympic final is just amazing. So it's great. Great. Do you want, do you want to name the winners? So the, the winners, um, I think it's, uh, it, 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 it was hard to separate them for obvious reasons. So the winners are Chris 
O'Donnell and Killian Green. Paul, thank you. So before I go, I just want to make a few points on this. The judges couldn't separate them. Uh, Chris O'Donnell has the fastest time of an Irishman this year. Killian Green won the national championships. They both made the Olympic final. Um, so it really is, uh, was, it was impossible to separate them. But, but also ju just to make, make some other points on it, um, you know, Chris, Chris and, and, and Killian both ran exceptionally well in the Olympics. Uh, both of them come, you know, Chris is North Sligo, Killian's uh, from Clare Galway. Um, and put it into context, Connacht had the first three over the line in the national championship this year, over 400 metres. When Chris O'Donnell won the Irish 400 metre title in 2018, he was the first Connacht sprinter since 1914 to win the Irish 400 metre title when a man uh, from Clare Morris by the name of Andy Heaney won. So 104 years it took a Connacht sprinter to win that title. And this year, Connacht had won two and three because Robert McDonald was third in the 400 metres. So it really is... Uh, exceptional times and then for the two winners here for a world medalist like Sarah Quinn not to get the sprint of the year it really shows you the exceptional year it was so Paul you know I think it's great that you're on I hope uh, Chris and Killian are on they texted me and said they'd be on so Chris as your name is first if you're on the line do you want to say a few words uh, yeah thanks uh, very much Pierce for for all this tonight and all your work this year and great to hear from Paul as well someone someone who I look up to you know over the years and Hopefully, as you can see by the nominees, you know, hopefully we, we put Connacht on the map this year, both nationally and internationally. And as I said, I was able to look up to Paul and the likes of Mary Cullen at North, at North Sligo. So hopefully, you know, what we did this year can inspire the, the next generation of Connacht athletes and show, you know, that anything's possible. Um, you know, I, I can remember entering the Connacht indoors, Connacht outdoors when I was starting off just doing every sprint event that you can imagine, you know, some long jump, whatever. And, you know, it's the volunteers there as well at, at my own club, North Sligo, um, all the coaches there really made made it possible from day one, my family and, and my friends. So, you know, a, a big a big thanks to them. And, you know, hopefully, as you can say, it was a, a really, really good year for Connacht Athletics. So, you know, we we'll just keep the momentum going and hopefully it inspired, you know, uh, a lot of younger athletes as well along the way. Thanks very much, Chris. I'm hoping Killian is on the line as well. I want to keep the three on the screen together and then we might invite uh, the other relay members on. So, Killian, if you're on, do you want to say a few words? Yep, definitely. Um, thanks very much, Pierce, for um, the opportunity to speak and to be able to, uh, to put on the event in general. I think it's fantastic for Connacht to be able to get the recognition that, um, that I think a lot of the athletes deserves. We're in absolutely fantastic company. And I think it's been a really, really good year for Connacht Athletics in particular. And uh, it's fantastic to be able to, to share such an experience with, with good people. But um, just like to thank everyone for, for the award. It's been a great year and uh, it's really nice that things click together at the right time. Um, I'd like to thank everyone um, at Galway City Harriers for their help throughout the year. It's been, it's been brilliant. And to my family as well. Um, and also the fact I'm living in Dublin for my coach, Jeremy Lyons and everyone in Dublin Sprint. Um, I couldn't have done everything without, without them. So um, yeah, it's been, it's been really good. And hopefully now Connacht Athletics can push on and really, really make their, their name on the map. Um, as Chris said, you know, and to you yourself, Pierce, that one, two, three across the line in the 400 metres this year where we're all from Connacht. I don't think um, that's ever happened before and I don't know when it will again, but um, hopefully if things keep going the way that they are, we can certainly put ourselves on the map again and um, really build on, on the summer into the future. So thanks again for the opportunity. Gideon, thanks very, very much. I'm hoping Phil Healy and, and Sophie are on the call as well. Um, just, to, just to bring that relay team, I can see Phil. Let me just pin you on here, Phil. And uh, lovely to see you, Phil. Is um, anyone else in the call from our mixed relay team? Yeah. Are you on a different name? Well, Sophie Becker. Here, Sophie, how are you? And I think Kleena is there as well. Um, yes, Kleena there. Well, just, well, that's just, yeah, the Tokyo team. I wanted just to put on the Tokyo team. Paul, if you can stay two minutes. Girls, I just want to say, um, and, and the lads as well, that you brought so much pride uh, to Irish sport this year in Irish athletics. And on behalf of the Connacht Council, uh, we want to make a small presentation to the relay team. Uh, it's a pretty special presentation um, because there was uh, some members of the Connacht Council were in the Olympics and we managed to procure the relay battens that you all ran in the mixed 4 by 4 team. So we have a baton for each of you. I hope you can see them all. And these are the actual battens that were used during, I hope you can see it with me and I'll put them up against my jumper. These are battens that were used for mixed relay final in Tokyo. They're the real McCoy and we'll be giving one to... To, to Sophie, Killian, Chris and Phil um, over the National Indoor Championships and it'll go nicely on your wall 
uh, with the best and probably the bib as well. And it's a lovely souvenir because you brought huge amount of pride and joy to Ireland this year. And for an Irish team to make an Olympic final was incredible. And you all raced really, really well. And we just want to say how proud we are of you all. So Phil and Sophie want to say anything. You're, you're gate crashing the Connacht Awards here now, guys. But um, you know, I think your VIP is as Olympic finalists. Uh, you're welcome to join. And obviously to see the four of you and, and Paul Hessian as well on, on the screen for everybody. We're not in a room. You can't get a stand ovation, unfortunately, but I can tell you there's 100 and odd people, 140 people on the call, and they're all, I can see the comments coming in. They're all clapping for you. So thanks for all the joy you brought to Irish Athletics this year. And I'll see you at the indoors and give you all the batons as well, or your coaches or whatever. But keep up the good work. Look forward to seeing you during the year. Phil, Sophie, do you want to say anything? Phil, do you want to say yeah. anything? Thanks a million for, for having us on and inviting us to this award tonight. It's like congrats to all the nominees and all the award winners. It was great to, to tune in and to see all the success that uh, Connacht has had over the year. And uh, um, and on behalf of the relay team, to, to get those relay batons, that's such a, a great gesture and uh, a great memento to have for the for the years ahead because it certainly brought uh, great memories for us um, this summer and hopefully it uh, lifted the nation as well with everyone back home. So on behalf of the team, thanks a million for, for that and um, congrats on, the, on a great awards night tonight. Cheers, Phil. Sophie, do you want to say anything? Yeah, I suppose just to second everything Phil said. I feel very privileged. I'm sure we all do, me and Phil, to be gate crashing at Connacht Awards. So thank you for that. But no, look, this is... I mean, I never thought I'd be touching those relay buttons again from Tokyo. So this is just a lovely um, little present to finish off a brilliant year. Thank you very much, Pierce, and everybody who organized it. And um, yeah, like I'm sure this will spur everybody on over the next coming months as competition start and everything. And yeah, I just want to say thank you again and congrats to all the award winners tonight. You're very welcome. You're the only two non conduct athletes we'd allow onto our awards night. So you obviously did something very special this year. Great to have you on, guys. Um, big year ahead. Hopefully, Oregon. Um, we'll see you again. You've already qualified. You know, it was really great, guys, in in, in Tokyo to be beating the big nations, the Germanys, and, and you know the US. Maybe you know there was debate whether they should have made the final, but to have little old Ireland uh, in the final and people talking about it, and and you know I was there myself and I was sitting in the stand. And I couldn't have been prouder to see you qualify. Uh, and obviously, even going back to the World Relays in in, in last May as well to, to actually have the team qualify and the joy you brought. Uh, during lockdown it, it was great there was no competitions in Ireland at the time and you managed to get yourselves into shape and, and, and qualify so thank you all for the joy you brought to the sport and good luck for the season ahead thank you guys it's getting Thanks, late so, so I'm going to try and be Paul thank you and good luck you have a 13 hour shift ahead of you it puts us all to shame but I uh, appreciate you coming on, on the call Paul no problem thanks so I'm trying to see where I am now I'm not getting too excited with the relay team um, we're, we're sorry, before we go to the, to the Connacht Athlete of the Year, there's one other athlete I want to, to, to speak about, and it's our 4 by 200 meter relay team. We named um, earlier on, obviously, the Connacht Sprinters of the Year, but Sarah Quinn uh, from St. Coleman, South Mayo, um, was the only Connacht athlete, along with Aoife Lynch, Kate Doherty, and Sophie Becker again, uh, to, to win a medal in, our, in the 4 by 200 meter relay uh, in the World Relay Championships in, in Solisa last May. Um, when did anyone ever think that a Connacht athlete who won a world medal wouldn't be awarded uh, at the Connacht Awards? But that's the way it went because the standard was so high for the athlete of the year, which is Sinead Diver and, and coming 10th in the marathon, and then, and then the two guys uh, making the Olympic final. But just, um, Sarah, I don't know if you're on the call. Can you just say hello if you're on the call? Hi. <laughs> Good. Well, let's, let's do a quick word before we go. Hang on a bit, because I know you're out in Spain with a load of troublemakers, if I'm right. Are you in Noel? <laughs> I'm going to unpin everybody else. Tell us where you are before we talk to you. I am currently in Tenerife and I'm on a training camp with some lovely girls and I'm getting some good sessions in. So the sun is shining and yeah, very good. Good. Sarah, listen, obviously it was a very strange uh, Connacht Awards that we couldn't give you an award. And I just want to go back to the World Relays in Silesia because they were held in an empty stadium with no spectators. Um, and there was a few things that didn't happen as normal and World Athletics at the time uh, made a decision to only award gold medals. And, and despite coming second, uh, you and your teammates went home uh, without a medal. But Connacht Athletics and the Connacht Council have used their influence and we're delighted to show you that we now have medals at Irish team. Uh, so you will have your world medal and um, John Cronin's on the call. They'll probably be presented to you all 
uh, at the National Indoor Championships, but that, uh, if people can see it, it's a lovely medal. Um, I'll oh. put it actually in front of me here. It's a really big medal. But we, we know in Ireland the inspiration that a medal gives like that as well uh, for, for kids in your club. And you're obviously in university as well. And you had a tough summer last year. But it was great to see you winning the National Hurdles title uh, the year before. And it's good to see um, Sarah Lavinwich and Noel Morrissey. Uh, Noel, is, <laughs> Noel is one of our most bemedaled uh, juvenile athletes in Irish athletics history. And obviously Sarah has, has been all over our television screens all summer running, uh, qualifying for a very, very competitive 100 metre hurdles in the Olympics and, and doing so well and making us proud as well. So just to say, Sarah, if you want to say a few words and thank maybe coaches or whatever, um, we'd love to hear from you. We can't give you an award tonight, but you get a world medal, so it's not too, too bad, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. First of all, I just want to thank um, Brendan Glynn, my coach at Galway. Um, he goes above and beyond for every single one of us in the group, and I think his award earlier on is just a small recognition for the massive amount of work he has put into all of us. And I just want to thank Gabe. Also, and a special mention to Jim Ryan as well, my juvenile coach, you can't go unmentioned because he brought me up through the ranks as a juvenile and then I'm, now I'm in safe hands with, with um, Brendan. So, um, yeah, and I just want to thank my, my friends and family as well and everyone that has helped me along the way. Um, and I just want to say well done to everyone this evening for um, to all the award winners and the nominees. Um, everyone was so deserving and it's great to see that Connacht Athletics is is acknowledging every single achievement um, and it's a great time to be an Irish athlete. Thanks very much, Sarah, and make sure and give that to Sarah Lavengar a quick nudge as well this year. <laughs> and, and, and Noel, if you could just say hello to us, Noel, Noel Morrissey, as I said, the <laughs> Olympic. Noel has a lot of relay success in her life as well. I think, Noel, your statistic is that you have, let me see, carried the same baton in Irish schools for how many years? Give us your relay story. Oh, yeah. Well, there's a couple of relay stories, actually. The, the one relay story would be that we were the same team under 11 to 17, the exact same four people that won the All-Irelands all the way up along. And I think we actually broke the record all the way up along as well. And the other relay story I have is that I ran the final leg of the junior, intermediate and senior relay in the Irish schools. Um, I was sick for, you know, the... East Monsters or whatever, and you could run three events. So me, they put me in three relays, and the following year they changed the rules. So <laughs> that's my two relay stories. Noel, Noel you're, you're in good company because um, PJ Letty's on the call, and his brother Eddie, uh, who ran the Olympics for Ireland, won the intermediate and senior cross country back to back as well, and they changed the rules. So, so you and Eddie <laughs> Letty hold them. Um, Significant places in, in Irish athletics history. Well, we, we're all very proud. We're, we're, there's a big push now for gender equality and female coaches, and you're leading the, 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 the you're carrying the flag for that. Delighted right. to tell you as well. Um, as I made you the promise in Tokyo, there's a relay baton for you from the Olympics as well. And we'll, we'll give so it to you when you're, when you're back home. Well, <laughs> I never forget. I never forget my promises. So Thank thanks a so million, guys. Keep training well, and we look forward to seeing you in the national indoors um, in, in in a few weeks' time. And Sarah, good luck to the two Sarahs. There's Thank double you. trouble there. Noel, final comment. You told me you're going to be watching the Munster rugby match. I hope the award ceremony won over uh, the rugby. Oh, absolutely. Well, I had to one year and I was watching Munster with one eye. Good <laughs> stuff. <laughs> Cheers, best, best luck for the season ahead, guys. You're an inspiration, everybody. Thank you so much. I want to move it on because people aren't drinking pints or eating dinner. And we're, we're two hours in. So we're at the last two awards. So I'll go back onto the screen. Um, let me just pull up here. For the, we're at the two main awards of the night, the Connacht Athlete of the Year, and we're delighted to be joined from the United States by the Irish 1500 meter record holder Ray Flynn of Longford. Um, I would love to have put up there the Irish under 20 1500 meter record holder. That would have been accurate a year ago, Ray, but I think we're all delighted to say it's not accurate anymore. But your mile time and your 1500 meter time is there. And just to say before Ray comes on the call, Ray is the meeting director of the Millers Games. The Minnows Games, uh, the oldest indoor athletics meeting in the world. Um, it's the famous one at Maker Mile. It'll be on live on TG Car this year. And Ray has put in a nice sprinkling of Irish athletes throughout the event. So we have lots of interest in Irish athletics. So, Ray, if you're there, we'd love you to say a few words and present the final two words uh, of the night. I saw you earlier, Ray, so I know you're there. Maybe you're on mute. Hello, Piers. Yes, loud and clear, Ray. The floor is yours. How are you? Yeah, I'm great. Look, thanks for the uh, thanks for this opportunity uh, and the invitation to be on this call. 
um, it's a, it's really been nice to to uh, watch and listen to the the awards tonight and how balanced they are. And so congratulations to all the awards winners. Um, you've done a great job managing it yourself. Hope they give you an award for all the work you're putting in. You're doing you're putting Connacht Athletics on the map and and uh, all the work you're doing beyond it. So uh, congratulations to everyone and to you for putting all this together. Love the recognition earlier for, of course, Coach John McDonald. He was a good friend of mine and uh, for, for making an award on his behalf. And great to see old friends, uh, Katrina McKiernan and Liam Morgan and Dermot McDermott and a lot of people that I know. And um, anyway, it's, uh, it's, it's lovely to see tonight. Um, Connecting with Connacht Athletics brings me back to my young years competing on the old cinder track at Claire Morris. I've got a lot of great memories back there and um, grateful for all the people who helped me uh, when I was a young, a young, a young boy. Um, I first met fellow, fellow Longford man, uh, Kean McPhillips uh, in, in 2014 in Longford. They told me he was a prodigy then and, and boy, were they right. Uh, he's got a great family and uh, support and a great coach, uh, Joe Ryan back there. He's gone from strength to strength, uh, setting the European indoor junior 800 meter record this past year. Of course, breaking my uh, junior 1500 meter record in the 1500, 45 years old. Um, I watched with excitement him winning the uh, U20 uh, Europeans uh, this summer. That was great to see in style. And uh, I know that Kean is a humble young man, um, but. Um, my national 1500 meter and mile record, which will be 40 years old this summer. I think he's the, uh, the, 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 the best one to, to do it, to break him. And I, I, I think you give him a couple of years, it won't take long and he'll be the next man to do it. So um, I uh, just am um, here to present uh, Kean McPhillips. Uh, um, congratulations on being Connacht Athlete of the Year. Um, uh, am I jumping the gun there? Yeah, Ray, do you want to just read out the nominations, if you don't mind? Uh, excuse me, I'm sorry. No so, problem. Chris, Chris O'Donnell, North Sligo, Killian Green, Galway City Harriers, uh, Kean McPhillips, Longford, um, Jared O'Donnell, Carrick and Shannon. And, of course, the winner is Kean McPhillips, and uh, congratulations to Kean uh, from... Uh, from Tennessee to Longford to Connacht and uh, and congratulations to all the winners tonight and uh, it's uh, well deserved. I know all the other uh, uh, people in this category and the athletes in this category are remarkable and from what they've achieved um, and I think Kean has a really really bright future. Ray thank you very much if, if you don't mind guys um, I, we're in the last couple of minutes of the show I'd like to show the last 500 meters of Key McPhillips winning um, the European Under-20 title. It'll give us all a bit of a boost. So if you can bear with me, um, and I hope the sound works again, let's enjoy the last 500 metres. Подтягивают, спецок метров остается всего до финиша, поэтому сейчас ребята выбирают позиции для атаки, выбирают позиции для того, чтобы если вдруг кто-то начнет рывок, чтобы успеть его подхватить, заключительный круг, и вот сейчас начнется самое главное. Самое главное сейчас, чтобы никто не наступил, друг на друга не упал, потому что вот в такой толпочке все может быть. Не, ну они растянулись сейчас уже, ну, они растянулись, растянулись скорости возросли. Вот это, да, шестерка, семерка первых, она вот сейчас все равно все-таки, вот поляк там, рак пытается быть. Вот видите, обходит сейчас, не дает. А смотри, что Британия сделала. Ну, а клюк. Мы уже добавляем видели сегодня, да. что вообще за такое дисквалифицировали. Тут судьи-то не. А... Не, ну руками он ничего не делал, он просто добавил. И видишь, смотри, поляк. Вот Нет. он сделал этот рывок, и очень зря, что он его делал именно там. Все-таки в этом плане, мне кажется, лучше было бы добегать до финишной прямой. И вот эти самые главные а, моменты, да, рывки делать именно на финишной прямой. Что значит, что с поляком произошло? Да. Все. Смотрите, вот три лидера и два британца отпускают, и ирландец-то всех наказывает, да, имея результат да. 3.46.27 в этом году. И 3.46.56 пробегает, да. да. Пока все. A hard fought race there, Ray, uh, and you know, you know all too well about it. Uh, when I did that today, there was an English commentator, I don't know how, that ends up with a Russian channel. <laughs> But I, I, think, I think we all knew the Irish man was beating the two Brits and the Dutch guy to win the <laughs> European title. Um, and it's great to see. Ray, thank, thanks for your kind words. If Keen is on the line again, Keen, do you want to just come on maybe and just say a few words before we close out tonight? 
Uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, thanks very much, Ray, for uh, that introduction and uh, you know for making the effort to come on the call. Um, I think I've thanked everyone uh, the last time I spoke, but I'd just like to extend my thanks to them again. Although it's an individual sport, there's a huge backroom team that goes into this, and you know everything that I've achieved over the last year, I couldn't have done without them and their support. And uh, yeah, it's much appreciated. And uh, thanks again, Pierce, and for all Connor Athletics for organising this. You're welcome, Kane. Looking forward to seeing you this year. Um, I'm sure Ray's a little bit saddened you won't make the Millrose Games this year, but um, with plenty more years for you to, to, to run the Wanamaker Mile uh, in the future. And what a, what, a, what a thrill that would give us to have the Irish Mile record holder from Longford with, with the up-and-coming Irish under-20 mile record holder running the Wanamaker Mile in, in, in New York City. And I think that's what keeps us all going. So, so thank, thanks, Keane, for that. We've just won final um, Athlete of the Year award. The Female Athlete of the Year was, was Sinead Diver. Obviously, she got awarded earlier um, and we presented her with her award. We, we, we did our interview, so, so there's no need to go back over that again. But um, maybe we'll just I will read out the nominations just for clarity because I think there's a big thrill and people being nominated as well. So the nominations for the Connick Female Athlete of the Year were Sarah Quinn, um, say Coleman, South Mayo, Michaela Walsh from Swinford uh, and Sinead Diver. And the winner, of course, was Sinead Diver. So, guys, I think that is probably us for the night. I'm 25 minutes over time, um, but I think it was actually a good night. I think it was a great celebration uh, of all that is good um, and exciting and wonderful in, in Connacht Athletics. I think there's a great family within, within Connacht and, and indeed with wider athletics in, in Ireland. Um, the talent has never been better. There's never been a better time to go and, and follow your dreams and contribute. You know, Ray Flynn mentioned Joe Ryan as Keane's coach and, and Sarah Quinn mentioned Jim Ryan as her coach. And Jim is, is Joe's uncle. So it is a real family environment uh, in Irish athletics. And, and let's keep it that um, from, from now on. If there's any comments anybody wants to make, you're welcome to make them. Um, but it's, it's 10.25 on a Saturday night. I think it's been a great night. And I want to thank all of you for, for taking part. Um, particularly Paul Hessian for getting up at, at six in the morning before a 13-hour shift. But, uh, and Ray, great to have you from, from Tennessee as well. And look forward to seeing the Millers games live on, on, on TG Carr in a few weeks' time as well. So thank you all very, very much. Uh, lovely comments coming in. We'll share this recording uh, on YouTube tomorrow for anybody who's missed it. And the best luck to everybody for the season ahead.